This is a HeadGum Podcast. Now, speaking of horror movies, we are just going to continue the goddamn 2019 Halloween spooktacular. Mm. We are talking about Final Destination 3. I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. Chris Cabin. Eric Siska. And we hate movies. <laughs> We all go a little mad sometimes. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare, huh? Sometimes. That is what I... Zombies have entered the building. They're at the door. They're coming in. It is time to keep your appointment with the Wicker Man. They're coming to get you, Barbara. He's sick. Seen one too many movies. Now, Sid, don't you blame the movies. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. What the fuck are you in the bag? What an excellent day for an exorcism. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the program. Thank you for tuning in. As always, like I said up top, we're talking Final Destination 3 from 2006, directed by James Wong, who you may remember. From the X-Files, the one previous episode, Mm. and the original Final Destination previous episode. This guy, he's he's a a, a hero. An auteur. (laughs) A hero and an auteur. (laughs) Uh, I will say, I was so thankful. I haven't seen part two. Mm -hmm. Turned out I wasn't lost. (laughs) No. (laughs) Part two is referenced when they mention the logging incident or whatever <laughs> i remember the highway trailer 180 for that. it's yes. like the same one as yes. the flight oh it's the flight number 180 and that's also all over this fucking movie too uh i stupid. will stupid fyi this is i've only seen oh. the first one of these movies mm-hmm. and last night i finally watched uh final destination three which is the movie we're doing right now yes. and oh good a couple of years ago <laughs> i was like you know i never saw all those final destination movies let me buy a four-pack DVD. Oh, Get right out of town. DVD. And I and it sat in my in, on my shelf forever. Actually, I pulled this out of a box <laughs> that was actually going labeled to, junk. No, it was going to declutter, which is something where you sell your DVDs you don't want anymore. It's oh, like, shit. oh wait, hold on. And I like I rummaged this box. It? Wait, did you rob somebody of the DVDs that they purchased? It's a thing where it's like, send it back whenever. And it's been sitting in my house for two months. But they don't pay you until you actually send the thing. So, oh. so I'm, it, I'm being lazy. But I pulled this out. So it was, like on a, on a, it was, it was just in a dusty box yeah. on top of a mogwai. <laughs> other types of trash. Dude, he pulled it out from like a bunch of cobwebs and then like a rat ran out. <laughs> Couple and- things about this DVD. It's a four pack. Usually the four packs you'll have like. The two side clamshell, you open it, everybody's got their own yeah, little peg. Yeah, sure. No, this motherfucker, one longish peg, all four discs just oh, stacked, stacked on top. Oh, of that, yeah, I've seen Which those. is like, I don't give a shit. Dude. I kind of yeah. like the stack, dude. You like the stack in it? Yeah, kind of. Wait a second, though. So this is so old, because isn't there a fifth movie by now? Yes, yes. I think so. You even have all the movies? <laughs> Did you buy it before the fifth movie came out? I do not remember. No, I mean, this is like. Three or four years ago, and I just kind of fell. Off. So the, the the fifth movie had come out at that. The point. DVD was probably minted before the fifth film, yeah. right? I will say the trailers. This is a uh, a special DVD because oh. yes, there is a special version say of this it. movie that you could watch because this movie was planned with DVDs in yeah. mind. Uh, yeah, and this is it is just a formula for stupidity. It's a choose your own adventure uh-huh. thing. Where you could choose how characters die what? or whatever. So how, how are we going to do this podcast? Well, no, I, I watched it the regular way. I, I, oh, but good. I did kind of skim through it to see how the other ones work. It's yeah. really stupid. Uh-huh. Um, That's it's shocking like, news. By the way, to choose your own uh, podcast, do that Do that skip 30 second button <laughs> to, to, to skip over this part. <laughs> That's you how just, it's, don't like it's dynamic. Jokes. It's yes, dynamic. Uh, no, it, it, you can choose your own adventure. Just whenever I start talking, just skip. Just skip. She's your own joke. Yeah. No. The but it's like basically it's like the whole DVD has a carnival aesthetic and like you'll nice. watch you're watching this stupid movie. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then like a tarot card looking thing. It's yes. like, do you want Wendy to look back at her computer <laughs> or no? Yes or no. And by the way, you only have thirty seconds, or else it's making the choice for you. What? What's but, on that hard drive, dude? <laughs> but basically, all it does is. They've sh- shot some alternate scenes that you can actually unlock, 
via the film. I watched like two or three of them and then I got disgusted and stopped. <laughs> oh. You can't like save them, right? What do you, uh, you could save one character. That's the one I found. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll get to him when you get there. That's so fucking dumb. That like the whole notion of we have to shoot this film around the DVD extras. What a creatively bankrupt fucking thing that is. <laughs> I mean, it's Final Destination. But it's three. fun. I had fun choosing the little <laughs> adventure. That you was know? like, what was the, um? oh, Lord. Well, it was the thing everybody kept telling you to watch. And because of that, I purposely didn't. Oh, oh is it the, the dark? Band- Black, Black Mirror. Black Mirror. Uh, Black Mirror uh, Bandersnatch. Mm, yeah. It's just, that's also a bad idea. It's awful. <laughs> and it's also just bad. Yeah. I, um, I, uh, I yelled to my wife. She was going downstairs. Oh, like, that's not usual. But I was like, honey, there's an Easter egg on this DVD. I literally did. Because I looked in that's the top right hand. Did she reply, I don't care. <laughs> and then she jumped out of a water main to escape the house. There's one of those also on Netflix for the Puss in Boots cartoon. When we did uh, the episode of Puss in Boots for Animation Damnation uh, on the Patreon, by the way. Right. Patreon.com slash yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was like tooling around on Netflix and it was like, oh, you watch this grown adult. You yeah. may also like this choose your own adventure thing. Boy, was it dumb. It was so fucking dumb. You know what? You write the story for me. How about that? Yep. How about I take the night off and you mm. entertain me for what? Exactly. You write a thing, <laughs> you produce it, you put it out, and then I'll just do my job of watching it. And in the age when you can go on Twitter and make them put off the Sonic the Hedgehog movie <laughs> just by tweeting at them. Why would you bother? Wow, yeah, we're we're in a, like a choose your own adventure culture now. Choose your own production. It's incredible. <laughs> you don't have to worry about this bullshit. But the other thing is, this movie, as it is, this theatrical cut, mm-hmm. is totally fun. Why do you want to fuck around with it? And none of the other ones were very good. And the ones that I saw, then I just stopped doing it. You know, you, there should be one where it's like you choose a thing where they all just die on the can, toilet like oh, Elvis. The, the, actually, the first thing you can do, which I didn't do, is if you, um, if in, in mm. the beginning of the movie, it, you can choose that no one gets off the roller coaster and then the movie ends. What? Oh, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's one entertaining, funny thing. Let me ask you, so are these different deaths? Some are different deaths. Yes. Are they all smashes? Because a lot of people get smashed. There's oh, a yeah, there's movies. a lot of smashes. <laughs> there's a lot of smashes yeah. in these movies. Uh, one guy gets smashed. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Here's the thing: Final I... Destination. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> oh, they just go to a Gallagher show and he fucking needs some help from the audience. <laughs> Dude, going to a fucking Gallagher show is a Final Destination. Yeah. Yes, that's course. true. Uh, I had a question though. There should be a mode where you fucking select. That Tony Todd is in this movie. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good yeah. fucking. How dare you? It's voice only. Apparently it's so the, stupid. The voice of the the the, the, devil, the devil roller coaster ride, and yep. then uh, Chris Cabin outside on the street was telling me about the end of the line. Or was that you? Oh, that, that was, was me. Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he's, was you, he, Steve. He's we the were subway talking, conductor at yes, the end. Yes, yeah. we were talking on the street. That's what I heard on the street. But the thing is, like, <laughs> how hard is it to have a ticket taker? The carnival barker. It's Tony Todd. Yeah, Tom. exactly. Like, Instead of you these pimply ride this face one Mac Daddy. You know exactly. What I mean? like, these pimply faced teens that they have operating this roller coaster. Instead, get the fuck out of here. So this starts. We're at a carnival, right? Or it's a. Is it a carnival or is it a fucking? Is it a fair? Is it because it's definitely? I'll tell you what. It's not. It is not a major theme park, which means I'm not attending it. Well, I think it's a like senior class blah 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 because. Uh, Wendy, played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead, gives her sister, the younger sister, shit. She's like, what are you doing here? You're not even a senior. It's like a senior with their families, I think. Yeah, like, okay. that's like, But like, also, she's your sister, then why wouldn't she be... Whatever. It's fucking <laughs> it, stupid. It sounds like it should be a carnival, like like a senior zone, or like a high school fair. It's like thing. the end of Greece. <laughs> but then they got this roller coaster, which has so much infrastructure. There's yeah. like a lobby. There's like a building built yes. just to get on the roller coaster. And that's the thing. It's like, I will go to a fair. I'll go to a fucking carnival, have a good time. Yeah. I, might go, I might go on your Gravitron. I am not getting on a fucking roller coaster that was put together by meth heads. Yeah, I, no. need, I need something that I could easily be involved in a class action lawsuit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> already stretching on the have a good time thing there i don't no, know i know maybe it's somewhere in the middle where it's like it was an actual amusement park mm-hmm. but they like 
the high school rented it out, so it was like seniors only night or something. Yeah, they took the great escape. They got it. <laughs> well, there's a dude who's fucking dancing around while they're walking through the fucking carnival, and it's supposed to be like a Six Flags kind of guy. Yes. Yeah, I guess so. It's it's also 2006, and we love digital cameras. But there is there, oh, is, yeah. oh, there is one character named Frank who's like Frankie not, Cheeks. Yes, Frankie Cheeks. Frankie Ew. Cheeks is 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 two years graduated, so they're oh. letting people in. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, think, I mean, Frankie easy Cheeks to go- might as well be Frankie Sneaks, dude. I think he fucking snuck in. <laughs> Because he's filming, he, this guy right, he's is Frankie creep, Cheeks because he like fucking films butt cheeks, right? I think he's a butt addict. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, hey, was he the addicted fella? to ass? No, he, there was someone else was trying to take an upskirt photo. The That's, hero of the movie. The other hero yes. of the movie. <laughs> right. Because so, yeah, it's Mary Elizabeth Winstead. She's out with her friends. It's senior carnival. Whatever the fuck it is, she's got this digital camera, which. Man, that takes me back to a moment in time we gave a shit about digital cameras. Yeah. Absolutely. And that just that kind of like very tiny, silvery, everyone had one because it, it was like five pounds. You could get one for like 50 bucks at yes. Target. Yeah. And you have to hold it very still to get oh, yeah. a halfway decent photograph. Dude, they have right. 1.5 megapixels. Oh, wow. And <laughs> we 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 realized this movie's about to get spooky because she takes a photo of the carnival ride called High Dive. Uh-huh. But on the photograph. It says high dive. Oh my god! That means like you're gonna like OD, right? You die high. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> it's the River Phoenix Memorial <laughs> fucking circus. <laughs> that dude died on the gravitron. I'll tell you that much. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, she's walking around and like whatever. Yeah, she's got all these friends. Uh, it's specifically, it's like kind of a double date. It's her, her boyfriend named Jason, this dude Kevin, and his girlfriend, who's friends with Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who's named like Carrie. Or something. Sure. Carrie sounds about right, actually. Sure. And they're all sure. hanging out. And this is when, yeah, Kevin grabs the, her camera and shoves it up this lady's skirt. Totally. And starts f- snapping pics. Snapping and, photos. And it's kind of hilarious because that happens. And then they go off. And then the, the girlfriend's like, yeah, I'm breaking up with him after graduation. And I'm like, yeah, yeah you're that's right. The yeah, move. Yeah, that's also, the I don't know. I think it's the the Carrie character yes. and not Mary Elizabeth Winstead. One of them says, uh, that they don't need pictures of Susie Kobayashi's camel toe on yeah. their camera. That's pretty great. We are that snap, takes me back. snapping in this screenplay, man. We are <laughs> just Christ. just having a lot of fun. Oh, totally. It's like some dude like had a glass up against the wall and was listening in on how Kevin Williamson writes dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> Although one of these students says that if the yearbook did contain the camel toe. Yes. You would buy two copies. Wow, in case you ruin one with stains. <laughs> yes, yes. Exactly. You got a little too <laughs> sticky. Also, I think this dude Kevin is the one. One of the two dudes is way too enthusiastic about roller coasters. Yes. And my note just says, imagine being so excited about roller coasters. This is where the 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 uh getting older people to play high school students really doesn't work because they have to be so excited about these fucking rides and games. This dude's bitching about having a reservation for the roller coaster that they have to make. (laughs) Texas Battle is about to kill everybody in the crowd because he's doing his uh, the the smash. Oh, the the sledgehammer thing. Oh, yeah. The whatever, the, the strongman thing. The strongman thing, by the way, you want to talk about 2006. One of the levels is like, you know, the the top level is like super stud or whatever. Right. Somewhere down the low, did anyone else see it? Yeah. I know Chris did. Metrosexual. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah. If you are not strong enough, you would be a metrosexual. Wow. Congratulations, screenplay. Yes. And now for younger listeners, <laughs> yes. metrosexual. I'm was sure a- somebody just took their headphones like, the fuck is a metrosexual? <laughs> someone just drove off the road. Someone had their own <laughs> final <fuck>? destination. <laughs> there was a divisive term back in the yeah. day to to belittle men who were actually caring about their appearance because it was a big deal to, you know, wear deodorant or it was no yeah. it was specifically heterosexual men stays. that took care of themselves yes. as far as like grooming and clothing hair to be jellish. like oh gay <laughs> yeah it was, it yes. was just uh, gay oh uh, uh, actually sorry metrosexual yeah totally the people have... who said metrosexual were also the people obsessed with saying freedom fries yes yeah i had a boss at funny enough at lifetime television of all yeah. places who was a vice president 
who would call me a metrosexual. <laughs> what? Did, did he know what it meant? <laughs> she did. And, oh. Um, Why? I, I need to hear a reasoning for this. Because I dressed for work. <laughs> yeah, you don't have any gravy stains on you. <laughs> hey, Cisco, you where's, metrosexual. Where's your potato sack, Cisco? <laughs> I'm wearing a potato sack. <laughs> Johnson's wearing a potato sack. This is the Lifetime Television office. We're all wearing potato sacks. You're wearing underwear, metrosexual. <laughs> <laughs> this was like shit. It was like two thousand. It was two thousand and late when this. Yeah. Happened. Yes. <laughs> you know, another thing that dates this screenplay. There's at least three references to Osama bin Laden in this movie. The nine, you know, a guy's cool it with the nine eleven stuff. Is yes. all I can say. There's other nine eleven <laughs> stuff in this movie, but specifically, someone is either, oh, because one of the dudes is like, oh yeah, Osama bin manager or whatever. <laughs> yes. or Osama, Osama bin supervisor. Bin supervisor. <laughs> yep. But then Unbelievable. Also, something, some, oh yeah, well, Ben Laden. And I was like, what are you fucking doing? You might want to watch it with that. It's 2006. Also, like, it's just we don't right. know. He might have been a good manager. <laughs> I mean, people stuck with the program for a long time. But the point is, the city the city of New York was still trying to haggle with the mafia about what they were going to fill the fucking Ground Zero site with. It's true. It took a lot of haggling. I'm just glad that the mafia was able to find uh, common ground. With yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, no, the the local Local governments st- s- let us down. The mafia came in and erected it. A beautiful exactly. Town. The, you you know everything well. about. You know, there's a lot wrong with New York, but there's a lot great about New York. And the great stuff about New York, you really have to thank your local mafia. Well, totally. because they as wanted, as uh, uh, rightly so, they wanted perfection, as <laughs> mafia always do. I have to say, pro mafia podcasts. There's this no half the measures one. with the mafia. I think no. this is the only podcast on the internet that is <laughs> vehemently. Pro mafia. I think you're. I think you're totally right. By the way, fellas, Patreon.com/slash <laughs> We Hate Movies. Oh no, I don't. You know what, dude? That's the one thing is I don't want the mafia coming to our Patreon and being like, we have to pay the Patreon protection yeah. or something. <laughs> well, well, you know, I don't. I'll do a mafia benefit. <laughs> <laughs> We're here for Frankie Fingers, who lost all of his fingers. Uh, tonight we're talking about Godfather Three. <laughs> Woo! The movie fucking sucks. <laughs> So yeah, they're going. They're about to get on this ride, and yeah, the boyfriend is super in. Uh, uh, Wendy's boyfriend, Mario Lindsay's brother boyfriend, is really into the ride. Oh yeah, and he, she's what's he, this? What's this ride called? The Devil's Asshole. Devil's <laughs> Flight. Oh right. right, yeah, yeah. Which Flight. is something that Osama's men took that day. <laughs> <laughs> That is the screenplay. I'm not kidding. <laughs> but I will say that tells me all I need to know about this thing. Because, like, you know what? You go to a fucking real theme park. It's branded content. It's like yeah. you're going on the Superman ride. Yeah. I, or oh, fucking yep. Space so Mountain or Star die, Wars. Whatever. If you die, you can blame the Superman people. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm not yeah. going on a, a public domain fucking ride, man. Yeah, totally. The devil. Oh, you can license him for zero dollars. <laughs> oh, the big bad wolf. Like, yeah, eat my ass, dude. <laughs> Welcome to Pack of Dogs, the roller coaster. The big Bad Wolf would be great at eating ass. I mean, he could fucking blow down a house with that mouth. Imagine what he could do down there. Oh, man, he'd fucking turn me inside out. Yeah. The- blow you up like a balloon. <laughs> but... It's totally okay to not go on a roller coaster. If you're with a yes, group of friends, she's this is freaking outrageous. Out. It's like, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, yes. right? She's flipping out. It's like, dude, you do not have to go on a roller coaster. I have never seen so many people descend upon a person who's nervous about going on a roller coaster and well, force her to go you on. You can do like light ribbing, like, oh, you little scaredy cat, I'll see you when I get back from the roller coaster, and that's the yeah. end of it. Well, because yeah. she's dating a loser baby, <laughs> and he fucking can't wait to go on the goddamn roller coaster. Babe, if, I've been waiting all through high school for the senior trip yeah, to the amusement park. That's the other thing. It's like by appointment or something. <laughs> They're like, they only let so many people uh, on yes, this fucking right. I'm the Devil's flight, Maitre D. Now, <laughs> do you have an? Do you have a reservation? Oh, you Would don't. Would you like a cocktail? Two? Uh, maybe we could squeeze you in. Mm. Man, that's a dangerous combo, Chris Cabin. Fucking consuming alcohol and being on a roller coaster. Eep. Oh, I'm sure they're doing it. Uh, 
<laughs> Look at them. They're all doing it. Yeah. This is when you hear Tony Todd's voice being like, it's the scariest roller coaster you'll be on, motherfucker, or whatever he's doing. I can't believe there is not one use of Mac Daddy in this ride's <laughs> exactly. introduction. Come on. The devil is the devilest Mac Daddy of them all. <laughs> Get ready for it. And yeah. like, Jay... Fucking Mary Elizabeth Winstead's guy is like, come on, hon. It's the last roller coaster before I go to college. <laughs> I oh, I'm like, just die. just no. I, well, the friend. So the other carrier, whatever her name is, yeah. is like, uh, because Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Wendy doesn't yes. want to go on the ride, and this Carrie is like, get your fucking ass on this ride. I am going to Princeton in the fall, and I am not going to... It's going to be so long before I can get on this roller coaster. The roller coaster takes two and a half minutes. I will see you when you're done, and you can tell me how much fucking fun you had. Just go. Just go on the roller coaster. It's not smoking a cigarette or losing your virginity. It's a roller coaster. Yeah, it's not cool at all. Like The things things you do before college. What the fuck? Exactly. You wait outside. Everyone does this. Everyone says goodbye. Like... Either the mom or the friend or the cousin, the the uncle with the bad back, and they're like, hey, you guys have fun. I'm gonna drink down here. Yeah, and you know what? I can't go on the ride. I have severe hemorrhoids. It's gonna destroy <laughs> way, me. I it's found... a little too close to kids for me because of the whole thing. You guys <laughs> go on the ride. You know what? You know what? Second thought, I can't even come into this park. I will wait in the car and listen to the ball game on the AM radio. <laughs> Legally, can't enter the park. <laughs> By the way, I wrote down the Tony Todd line from the uh, one of his lines is like, "You may never return from Devil's Flight." Right. Oh. By the way, my new favorite carnival <laughs> ride. Devil's Flight's also like if you were sampling six different hot sauces. Yes. Yes. Oh, you ordered the Devil's Flight. Or like that Mila Kunis, like she's in the fucking oh, yeah. commercial for the Devil's Cut. Yes, that's right. Like, it's not just is... Jim Beam. It's yeah. Jim Beam's Devil Cut. Mm-hmm. Oh, so what does that mean? It tastes more like gasoline. The, 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 yeah. Satan pissed in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. into the vat. The vat. The original Saint, vat. Saint, by, by Satan, yeah. you mean Jerry from production? Yes, yeah. <laughs> and so we. we He's got a the, tattoo. He's really on nice. our way, we've met uh, <laughs> that dude, uh, the strong guy. What's his name? Battle, Lu- Battle for Texas New Battle. York? Louis okay. Romero. Because yeah. by the way, we are still continuing the proud uh, Final Destination uh, tradition of the last names of the characters or film directors. Because you've got uh, Romero, Dreyer, Wise, uh, uh, Fisher, Christensen. They're all. They're oh, all. Oh no, here. Polanski. <laughs> <laughs> no Polanski. That's what I think. They that was averted. supposed to be Louis. Larry Cheeks there or whatever. It would have been funny if they named like a 13-year-old character Polanski. <laughs> <laughs> little Polanski. Little, oh, man. Oh, God. Little, little Exile. He'd have to go two towns over. <laughs> is the... Yeah, this is the town of France, Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> is this New York, by the way? No, I it's Pennsylvania. It's yeah. Pennsylvania. Oh, really? Okay. I, now, because they end up in New York City at the end, and I, I just assumed this was is continuing. That what that was? was that supposed to be New York City? Oh, yeah. It could have been a SEPTA train in the... In, if it's mm. Pennsylvania, Philly, I don't know. I, don't I mean, so. I think it, I think it looked enough like New York, but the, the, those I just I'm just asking because those subway stops aren't real. But they were like J, they were JFK related apparently because there was Booth, well, assassination. Yeah, Booth, Booth and Booth uh, Street and Oswald Street yeah. was the end of the line. And I mean, this whole town takes place in McKinley. Right. Uh, oh shit! He was shot too. He was shot down in his prime. Yeah, by an anarchist. <laughs> That's Sick. right. Not enough of those guys these days. Yeah. I saw that musical Assassins. They go through the whole thing. Oh really, dude? It's awesome. I is Antonio Banderas in that, or is that the movie? <laughs> that was the movie. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no, what's what's the musical? I don't even know. It's just like uh, people play different presidential assassins, or like people who attempted to assassinate a president like Wait, squeaky from was this like um this was just the simpsons episode right where bart dresses up and he starts shooting all william the henry harrison i died in 30 days <laughs> oh right <laughs> uh no it's really good it's a good musical it's pretty cool so they're going on uh there's also two girls that are like i don't know what what the, the hot girls i guess because they've got the thongs coming the out of the sweatpants it's twin mm. g-string read wearers yes. here yes. yeah right. this is a very 2006 thing exactly. this is ashley and ashlyn by the way are the characters they're wearing like those like pink and blue jumpsuits which yes. were kind of popular at the time yes like victoria's the, secret like, sweats kind of yeah like those bebe yes. stuff i think yeah. Yeah. The company the, what are the ones that they say like juicy on the ass yeah, or we're, whatever we're kind yeah. of juicy ass <laughs> we're kind of done with that are we i yeah, think I guess so, so with the juicy ass i mean yeah. there are juicy asses we're just not advertising <laughs> quite as much 
<laughs> you're not slapping a sign on the back of there, but uh, you let the yeah. ass speak for itself. I think you're you're, juicy, you're, you're looking over a great population of people who still have juicy asses. I, well, I mean, it's I, like the velour yeah, track yeah, yeah, outfit. Yeah. I should be able thing. to choose my own adventure. If I want to make that ass juicy, I'll make that ass <laughs> juicy. You're right. <laughs> that's you it, that's all it is. You can put different words on this on their asses. <laughs> no, it's something different. But yeah, and, yeah, and, it, and so they're all going on this roller coaster. They, 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 and like you know, it's that it's that feeling of dread. She starts getting like, oh my god, I don't want to go on this roller coaster. How can I get off? And right. Like, we've already gone through it. Just get off. But she's not doing it. They also run into the goth kids. One of which is the dude. Is one of the dudes from Ginger Snaps. Which, by the way, let me know a. This movie is from it was made in Canada. One hundred percent Canadian. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime a Ginger Snaps cast member is anywhere near something, <laughs> I don't think Canada. they let him out of the country. <laughs> they do not because they turn into werewolves. Uh-huh. If they if they come into they come in the United Famously, States. Famously, yeah. But also, this dude Ginger Snaps was in two thousand. This is two thousand and six. This kid was this dude who yeah. was twenty eight when this movie came out was playing a teenager for six goddamn years. Yeah, well, At you least. know, he's one of those like Seth Green looking short and kind of super tiny people. Yeah, you, know, you so can, can kind of get away with it, kind of pull it off. Yeah, I have to say the thing here about uh, what's uh, Cheeks? What's his first name? Frankie Cheeks. Frankie Cheeks. There is some disgusting shit that we have to talk about as we're online for this fucking Please. roller coaster because this Ashley and Ashlyn are like. Uh, didn't you graduate two years ago? To which Frankie Cheeks replies, I stuck around to monitor your development. Great. And then when they all are seated for the roller coaster, he's got a little handy cam. Yes. And uh, he says, care to flash them sweet, sweet titties when we go through the loop. <sighs> Fantastic. There's one thing, like, you can, like, Aggress- like, aggressively hit- like hitting on someone's annoying aggressively hitting on somebody is not okay and there's just straight up bothering people but like, also like, like uh, you're uh, now these bothering are high school people. students yes. exactly. you graduated yes. two years after also, and, and the, the one the first one you said is the particular one of note here i think oh, the, I, the I, monitoring I, your development oh yeah nambla member fucking speak <laughs> yeah, that's no, this, some fucking weird shit oh, man the fucking sweetest plum on the tree is gonna <laughs> ripen man your this is like dude in his car with binoculars outside the cheerleading yeah. practice. Got John Doe-esque walls of journals <laughs> about these women. Which is why his death is indeed the most satisfying it's of the film. Uh, and so they're getting on and like you know she, I will say this because I've, I've said this before, this happened to me once actually. You flashed uh, them sweet sweet sweet. <laughs> yeah, for, for about four years yeah man. No <laughs> I was uh, I was a great adventure once. It was uh-huh. a high school trip. Explain to people who don't. Uh, I'm sorry. Six Flags Great Adventure. One of the, yeah. one of the Six Flags it, chains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's, a, in it's Jersey. Like a shitty park with roller coasters. <laughs> like it's not like a Disney park. It's no, just yeah. a whatever. But park. this was this was an interesting thing about the Six Flags takeover of the United States of America, especially in the Northeast, mm-hmm. because we had up by me in in upstate New York, we had the Great Escape. Yes, the Great yes, Escape. Yes, I've been there once. And then Six Flags just bought that, and it became. Six Flags Great Escape. Oh, wow. And same thing with Great Adventure. Great Adventure was, at least as long as I've been alive, Six Flags Great Adventure. But I, th- I thought it was just a Great Adventure beforehand. Maybe I'm could, wrong about maybe that. Maybe it's not. You know what sucks is that the Great Escape had great signage, too. It was a cool park, and then it just became like a fucking faceless Six Flags. And then you got all the fucking Looney Tunes sh- sh- fucking around. Yeah, but they also... do. You, Kevin, do you remember the Boomerang, the laziest roller coaster oh in the history of humanity? It was a roller coaster where you backed up the track backwards, like up, yeah. right? And then it dropped you. You did a loop, and you went up high another way, uh-huh. and then you just reversed back down and went around. Lazy as <laughs> balls that ride. You could have smoked a cigarette and held a scotch while you were doing this. <laughs> wow. It was well, so f- that's a way to get me on a yes. fucking roller coaster. <laughs> uh, Mr. Sisko, here is your scotch before the boomerang takes off. Just your usual booth, sir. You always have a reservation on Friday night. I just have an image of you on it laughing <laughs> to the wind. Well, you're like, oh, what'll it be, Lloyd? <laughs> Why, well, you've always been on this roller coaster, Mr. Sisko. Mr. Sisko, here's a picture from you, New Year's Eve, 1921, on the boomerang. Speaking of which, we have a full episode on The Shining on patreon.com slash we hate movies. That's right. So what were you saying, Steve? You were shitting your pants at Great Adventure? I was at Great Adventure. It was uh-huh. a high school senior trip, which I actually just remembered because I told one of my other shit heel uh, <laughs> being a poor kid stories on the 
on the mail back a couple months ago. I now remember this trip. I know this story, this, but I also now remember that I kind of conned a priest into coming on this trip. <laughs> wow. Usually, it's the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you tricked him, huh? Yeah, That's a first. I, it was like it was like a fifty dollar admission fee or something. Mm. I was like, ah, jeez, I can't afford it. Which I again, I could not afford right. it. He's like, well, Stephen, if you. I'll pay for your ticket. You just pay me back whenever you oh, can. Shit. Stupid <laughs> freak. He got defrocked for this. <laughs> no, nothing else happened. Well, I'm not saying anything oh, else yeah. happened. It's just. Did he looks... pay for like a spiral fry too? <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Please continue. No, so uh, yeah, now I, I now remember that I owe some priest out there fifty dollars, and he'll never get. Father look. fucking sucker. That's that guy. Fucking find me, asshole. Oh uh, the... well, yeah, father probably dead at what, this what, point. Yeah, well, really. that's what. Listen, Steve. When you die, you're gonna. <laughs> see him as a ghost and he's gonna uh, be like my fifty dollars <laughs> i had to i had no money to pay the boatman <laughs> whatever the my fuck fifty dollars <laughs> that's like a debt. creep show episode oh dude yeah that's you're in right. debt you're an afterlife debt man First, i'm in real debt and i'm also an afterlife <laughs> debt <laughs> well i'm just saying once you kill yourself because of your crippling real life debt yes i don't know that <laughs> I don't assume that my real life debts will ever go away. Even it's going to after- oh, it's it's carry over oh, to the afterlife right. Right? Yeah, with, the, with the priest. That's the death tax, dude. That's what that is. So no, I'm on this. It's a roller coaster. It was called Batman and Robin's The Chiller. Oh, of course. Uh, okay. Which was a, a, a famous roller coaster. Is that it, a reference to the Arnold Schwarzenegger Mr. Freeze? It was. Yeah, it came out because this was you the get same. Get a free icy with it. <laughs> you, I think you did get a cup. One of those silly cups yeah. with long guys. Right. Um, but like basically the the idea of the there was a Batman roller coaster and Robin roller coaster they both went off at the same time and but they shot out like they, they were really fa- it wasn't yes. the, it wasn't the slow climb up <laughs> was, and was the batman side awful and nobody went in the robin <laughs> yeah are people mad about like getting on a different yeah, side I did you get to pick off i was I, I was on the robin side and i'm a robin fan so i probably did pick was the priest on the batman side <laughs> Hey, nice outfit, Steven. <laughs> he saw Steven at the concession stand whip out a fucking huge wallet paying for those curly fries and fat stacks. Wait a minute, but Steven, I thought <laughs> the roller coaster took off. But so I'm sitting down, and it's the thing, you know, you, you put the, because it goes upside down, they put the, the guard yeah. over you. Yeah, yeah. And it just, and it, I, he put, you hear it clinking for everyone else because it's like locking in, like a whatever kind of lock. And for me, it just, doesn't do that oh, man. oh and he's just dead. like you're good and he c- starts going up and i have to be like excuse me sir my uh my thing's not on and he's just like and he's just checking row in front of me row in front of me and like there's a dirt dirt oh, dirt, no. dirt and i'm like hey hey <laughs> hey and i have to scream uh, lose my fucking voice by screaming i was like i was like my th- fucking thing man he's like oh i'm sorry dude and he locked me and i was like this is uncomfortable. Then I fired off and I went on the roller coaster. Oh, oh man. <laughs> you almost died. I almost would have. Yeah. I, I, I saw a premonition of my death, actually. That's crazy. That's pretty great. Man, I you know, I didn't really go to a lot of amusement parks. I never was into roller coasters. Yeah. The closest I have to that is once when I was a kid, I walked like an hour into the woods outside my house <laughs> in the dead of winter. And then my foot, like, fell into a hole in a snow dune. <laughs> And it took me hours to dig it out. Like the sun was going down. Wait, I'm sorry. That's the closest you can come to being on a roller coaster. Well, he fucking... almost perished. I almost perished. That's oh, a I see. Jack London story. How did that happen to you? I just went out, uh-huh. dude. I don't so know. Steve almost went on a roller coaster yeah. where the thing wasn't secured properly, and you lived 127 hours, but in the winter. Yes. How many wolves did you kill? Uh, <laughs> not, not many. Uh, no, I mean, I've seen them, but I haven't interacted oh, with okay. them much. I guess I should have told the story about when I fell down a gorge. <laughs> yes, also. That's close to death, right? I grabbed a tree at the last second, so. Oh, Did you really a realize? sapling yeah. or like under a real tree? Well, it wasn't like a huge tree. It was it was in between. I would say it was in between the sapling. I just was wondering if you were a Hanna Barbera cartoon in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> so he, uh, so she's on the she's on the ride. All of her friends are there, and like everyone bullies her into staying. Even the fucking attendants that are working this thing. That's the kind of crazy part. I kind of feel like they're, it's like it's like a dominatrix. It's a safe word. Like, you got to get them out of there when they say it. Totally. Like, I don't want to be on this ride. You got to let them go. Because it's like, it's two squeaky voice teens and then this motherfucker that looks like meatloaf. And that guy's <laughs> like, get in the chair, you stupid bitch. And trying to close, and you're just like... I've never seen this kind of roller coaster bullying in my life. And I, this is what I didn't believe it because all the people who run these rides, they always look like they're members of the Butthole Surfers. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> or they're one of the uh, pizza losers who are hunting the three ninjas. Yes. Oh, they big all time. look like one or two of those groups. <laughs> yep. And like these are all youngins. These yes. are all like. Kids, My Chemical kids. Romance without the... Yeah, like, these dudes were in a band that signed to drive through records. Yeah, you know no, what I mean? No, no yeah. thank you. So she, the, the ride starts, and it, uh, right when it starts, you, you see like there's some sort of hydraulic fluid leaking. Yeah, we're leaking red jelly or something. Which means that the ride is, cur- is, is also cursed. Right. So <laughs> it starts happening. This kid, uh, Frankie Cheeks, has his camera anyway, and like oh, because they do make a big point to say like no cameras on the ride, yeah, blah yeah. blah blah. Great, great idea, guys. No, yeah, definitely no mm. cameras on the ride. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Uh, so it starts going. The hydraulic fluid starts fucking up. Everyone starts to die. Right, the whole roller coaster well, like, falls yeah, to shit. One of the reasons why is his goddamn camera falls and the strap like wraps around a track and then it gets hit by something and it starts to like. And this is where I'm reminded, did anyone read the Tribune trivia on the IMDb that is in, it's basically defending this character. Oh, right. I did not see this. It is a lengthy fucking entry that's like, because Frankie Cheek's camera gets wrapped around the post, many people incorrectly blame him for the disaster on the <laughs> roller coaster. I'm like, first of all, you're watching fucking Final Destination well, 3. No one got all, blamed. First of those girls were in public with those sweet, sweet... <laughs> <laughs> so, but they go into Frankie this... Frankie had a right to film them. Exactly. <laughs> it is this insane Yikes. explanation yeah. of why, like... Because the fluid's leaking, and then this would have happened to the. And I was like, "What are you, a fucking roller coaster engineer?" Also, you're fucking He's defending the, this character. Frankie is the closest thing we have to an antagonist besides yes. uh, death, death. <laughs> death itself. Who they can't even bother to fucking cast anybody <laughs> for it. So some of the deaths here, like what happens? Uh, people start falling out. A That's- lot of people just getting shot right off the carts, which is the um, Lewis gets the jock guy. He gets he gets thrown and he gets hit in this pole. It's oh, pretty nice. yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, pretty that's brutal. not bad. Uh, the dude who's like the the male lead in this movie, yeah. Kevin, Mr. I think, Mister Upskirt himself. Yeah, he gets like cut in half, which is great. It's kind of funny. They go upside down. It's like Mar- a lot of shit has happened. Mary Elizabeth Winston and her buddy are next to each other because like the, the boyfriend's like oh i'll go up front you go in the back whatever um and uh the the, uh, the goth kids are in front of them they're, they're holding on for dear life they're stuck upside down yeah and mary elizabeth one says like hold on no matter what you do hold on i'm like yeah i know yeah thanks for the <laughs> sweet advice wendy Keep breathing <laughs> breathe in and out Hold on a second, I got an itch on both of my feet right now. <laughs> no, don't scratch it! Oh my god, don't scratch it! They both drop. Yeah, they, they die. Uh, it's pretty cool. What- it's a fantastic sequence, I have to say. And I guess because I forgot how these movies go. I mean, I've only seen yeah. the one. I got duped. I thought like this was the oh, entry, this, and yeah. they were and like mm-hmm. sh- they were just some of them would survive. Oh right, right you right, know, right, yeah. and like just, that would be the cheating death. It's just good filmmaking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, James he, Wong knows what's up. I will say, I would so much rather die in a plane crash than what? die in a roller coaster. Uh, Absolutely, uh, not. disaster. It's more dignified. Like at least, like oh my god, did you hear about? I- Flight uh, well, plane crash is like there's no way you're surviving a no, roller yeah. coaster. Maybe. Oh no, I'm saying if I die in either case, I right. would much rather die in a plane crash. Well, here's here's what I think it is: is dying on a roller coaster accident is way closer to dying in some crazy carny porta potty accident <laughs> than a plane crash. Yeah. Right, because you want to be remembered like like the big bopper, not the big fat guy that died on a roller coaster. Exactly. One is way more dignified. It's like, oh, my God, uh, do you hear Steve died on flight uh, 211? Oh, my God, that's terrible. Oh, did you hear Steve died on the fucking, on Marvin the Martian's wild ride? Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's an enormous fucking difference. On a roller coaster called the Whippersnapper. <laughs> oh, yeah. the, the, the Whippersnapper the- 7. <laughs> Snap also, because if you go flying and then you just land in whatever carny theme park, then you're just amongst like the trash and you're just like a blob dead no. amongst wasted corn dogs. Give me that one. I like that one. Yeah. Uh, they, I, well, there's I nothing dignified about a, you a, anyway. Yes, but a, I like that. A supplemental segment here on Skydiving News Network is roller coaster disasters. We have another <laughs> one today. 46 souls perished, including Steven Sadak, on the Joker's last laugh. <laughs> dust <laughs> in the wind. <laughs> all we are is dust in the wind. Out of all those people, 
they were able just to say your name without any any type of like yeah not don't explain who he nope. was oh no totally. you know you know who I'm he known is. in the skydiving community Eric all right all right because you're you're a legacy from your family lineage of extreme sports all donations can be made to Six Flags Great Adventure <laughs> Stephen 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 Loop de Loop Sadak. Uh, will be interred behind the Green Lantern ring toss game booth. <laughs> Famed roller coaster rider. They're burying <laughs> their, them there like the war dead. <laughs> he died as he lived, saying, woohoo, woohoo, <laughs> woohoo. <laughs> oh, shit, wait. <laughs> I'm, sa- I'm telling you, I would much rather die in a plane crash. There are, there are I feel this is a real thing, even uh, though the only time I ever heard of it was on an episode of The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. But there's like coaster chasers out there. Oh, really? Oh, yes. you're, you're riding coasters because in that show, her mother, like her biological mother, is Lisa Kudrow. Mm hmm. And she's like a woman who travels the country riding roller coasters. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, like when a new one opens up, like you travel to whatever the park is and ride it. And uh, haven't you heard about that app, Roller Rate? <laughs> where you just rate roller coasters? Are you, I can't even tell if you're fucking I, joking I'm fucking with you. No, oh, because that's, <laughs> that's, it's, listen, it's not for me, but that's a good idea for someone. Did you guys see the trailer about that app that kills you? There's a new movie coming out. Oh, really? Oh, shit, I'm way into this already. (laughs) You download an app, and it tells you, like, when you're going to die. Oh, I got an invitation to this trade screening and deleted it immediately. It looks very Final Destination. What's it called? I don't even know. Fuck, it's like, it's... Yeah, App killer? I gotta look it up. down, down something? I don't know. So... Yeah. Downvote? (laughs) (laughs) Reddit the movie. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a final destination. They <laughs> so she like much like the first movie, she wakes up from a trance and because right. actually in the first movie, uh, Devin Sawa goes to sleep and it happens. Yeah. Right, right, right. Here right. she just kind of zones out and has a daydream, I guess, and sees all their deaths and like the same thing. I think there's gum on the seat and she's like, oh my gosh. That's more like the second. The second movie is more of a like mid of like she's about to go onto uh, a highway. And oh, just really? Has a daydream. And so she's like, oh, my God. And this is when she is like, I need to get off this fucking roller coaster. It's going to crash. Yep. And, you know, the easiest thing to do if you're this meatloaf looking dude <laughs> operating this ride, just yeah. let her off. Exactly. Let her right the fuck off. And he's like, no, sit down. He's like pushing her back in her seat. It's like, dude, this is not how roller coasters work. It's not a fu- it's not a public utility. It does not need to happen. By the way, yeah. the movie I was talking about is called Countdown. Yeah, I just found it. Tagline, death. There's an app for that. Wow. In theaters October 25th. I am always about any internet horror movies. Love them, love them, love them. And let me tell you this, starring in the film, one Mike Dexter. (laughs) Peter Fascinelli himself. Nice. Is he playing a high schooler? (laughs) (laughs) Maybe. Uh, So she gets off, um, I think, in the midst of stuff. Uh, the the jock gets up and s- starts calling her a loser, yeah, huh. and like that starts a fight mu- very much like the first movie where like now everybody's got to get off this roller coaster. And there's a crazy thing though where like the jock like pushes somebody or something, and then like a woman gets punched in the face, like the, the goth the, girl gets punched in the face. Yeah, yeah. Yes. The Lewis actually says like she just wants attention. Yeah, <laughs> and then someone tell like um, I think uh, one our hero of the film coming up, the upskirt man. Oh, oh Kevin. <laughs> yes. Kevin says something like "fuck you" or whatever, and he's like fuck moi yeah. Which I was right like, i was like shit. what are you miss piggy <laughs> or fucking um edward Tur- furlong yes yeah. thank you Tur- did oh, you call shit. moi a dipshit <laughs> uh yeah so they start fighting they right. get kicked off uh the jock gets kicked off the goth kids get kicked off but actually both of their boyfriends and girlfriends actually stay on the ride right and, oh and, and at this point mystery people get kicked off oh yeah yeah, yeah. Which is horse that that part of the movie is such horse. It makes no yep. sense. You are just killing time. Like this movie's only like ninety two minutes, so yeah. w- you know, woohoo. But <laughs> it could have been eighty two minutes. It was only the most memorable moment of my entire life. I don't remember who was there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I don't know. So they get kicked my off. Fucking sister. Whoa, spoilers. Well, who cares? And Whoa. Sh- she's screaming like, Oh my god, you have to stop the ride. Like, no, 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 it must go on. And it does <laughs> it does go off and everyone's like, Woohoo. And then, of course, it crashes anyway. Right. And everyone's like, oh. And then they cut to like a month later or something. 
Yeah, and so Whoa. we are at uh, high school graduation. I have to say, uh, this high school really not putting in the budget for the Final Destination Death's memorial like the first movie. Yeah. No. This is like, we got a couple of candles and there's some pictures in a glass I mean, box. it's happened twice already. And you know why, Andrew? <laughs> it's not just the budget. It's like, look, it... If, the, if that was a plane crash, there'd be a beautiful stone monument. Yep. I'm sorry. It's just a fucking roller coaster. You're, you're here's right. The, here's the... Bu- let's dedicate some space on the bulletin <laughs> you're board. You're convincing me to die in a plane crash. <laughs> like, you are splitting it. It is like half memorial for these dead kids, half the wrestling team's <laughs> fucking travel schedule. You, you want to know? You want to yeah. know where, when you play in Valley? <laughs> and we only got so many fucking bulletin boards in this school, so I'm sorry. This is where the memorial goes. And... And uh, it's like raining and like Mary Elizabeth Winstead is like kind of like it's kind of hilarious how few people they cast in this movie. They, they do not cast her any parents. No, there's the, very few parents in this movie. There's at no all. teachers. There's no like nothing. It's just like these kids walking around to ghost school. Well, it's, yeah. it's nice because it's streamlined. Yeah, like, this is like this is the Final Destination movie that could be a play. <laughs> Put this on stage. Adapted for the stage uh, coming to the Atlantic Theater Company. Final Destination 3 by the Worcester Group. <laughs> They'll put any trash in the Winter Garden Theater. <laughs> Man, will they ever. It's insane. That's it where, is that's insane. That's where I saw Rocky the musical. You oh, saw that? Hell yeah, dude. Did someone pay you to go? Uh, no, but I think... No, no, actually, I think I paid them. <laughs> <laughs> now that I remember. <laughs> Yeah, School of Rock was there. What's there now? Like Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice yeah, crap, yeah. crap, crap, crap. Yeah. Uh, but yes, uh, so like she's walking around. Like, did you notice a weird detail here? Sorry, no, but please. she's cleaning out her locker. Mm-hmm. She takes the picture. Uh, I want to get the boyfriend's name here. So oh, this, this is Jason, Jason yeah, yeah, and then the yeah, other yeah. girl was Carrie. Mm-hmm. She takes Jason's picture off of her locker and throws it in the garbage. Of course, because he now looks like an Argonaut. <laughs> <laughs> Time to move on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't need to keep every picture. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, and like Kevin, that guy, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin swoops in for the kill here, and he's like, "Hey, if you ever need anybody to talk to, you know." And she's like, "No, we're cool." And he's like, "You know, Jason did tell me to look after you." She's like, "Yeah, on the rise." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah she's r- like, "She didn't mean forever. We're not getting married." I Kevin. brought a knife to cut my hand. <laughs> Watch me bleed for but you. Then he brings up the death conspiracy theory. Oh, right. right? Yeah, he's, he's like, six years ago, man, this fucking airplane went down. People said these kids were dying because of some crazy shit." Why would okay. I know? That? Why would I Google? Where yeah. would what would be the thread that got him there? I, I, that's and then what he's I also really like, did. oh, and then this logging accident. And I'm like, what are you talking about? It is almost like it's almost as if there were two other films where this exact same thing happened, yeah. and this dude rented them on DVD. But like, if <laughs> but we're, we're talking about that, this is a thing. Like, if someone gets out of a horrific accident alive, death is coming for them. There'd be way more examples yeah, than yeah, just yeah. the right. just the fucking flight from the first movie. Yeah. Nine people dying at once? Are you kidding me? That yeah. happens every two weeks. Like everyone that got out of the fucking World Trade Center. Yeah, totally. Is fucking dodging death right now. <laughs> I mean, because like, everyone's got that story like, oh, I was going to go there. I had an appointment that day, but then I canceled right. it. I just yeah. had a thought or blah, blah, blah. Mark Wahlberg canceled the flight, I mm-hmm. believe. Steve Razzanese. <laughs> Razzanese. Yeah. All, he, all the- he's got death coming for him. <laughs> all those people. People on Sully's plane, they'd be fucking dead. Exactly. Wow, dude, that would have been a great fucking mashup. Hey, letter to Clint Eastwood, how about you remake that Dollars Balls movie and get a little final D in there? Nice. Man. <laughs> I think Sully 2 is actually a poster in one of Tim Heidecker's shows. Oh, is that one of the on cinema things? Or uh, Decker. Oh, like, really? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. fucking funny. Okay, now, Tom, <laughs> death is coming for you. You're trying to shave and you cut your throat. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Well, actually, you're making uh, some chicken soup, ma'am, and then it uh, it explodes on his face. <laughs> this is the scene where Sully's preparing to guest on Late Night with David Letterman, and you get you get into an altercation uh, with with Paul Schaefer and accidentally get killed in the band setup. <laughs> you get decapitated by a symbol. 
Because the death's gooses didn't get you the first time. <laughs> oh, no, it's just about the geese. All the geese that almost died. <laughs> Sorry, goose. You're All dead. Right. All right, quackers. <laughs> In this scene, you're getting ready to migrate. But then all of a sudden, uh-oh, splat. In this scene, you ate too much rice. And this <laughs> was so delicious, but now your stomach's exploding. <laughs> Final destination with geese would be amazing. Oh yeah. Final Louise. geese destination, dude. Louise, you're gonna get run over by a tourist boat. <laughs> <laughs> you think they're gonna get out of the way, but they don't. <laughs> they think you survived and then bam, the fan gets you. <laughs> so she's like walking around, it's raining, it's pouring, she doesn't have an umbrella, she's being a bit of a tryhard here. Um and <laughs> like uh what do you call it? The two the two girls from the beginning, Ashley and Ashlyn are like we feel really bad. Hey, why don't you come with us tanning? We're going to go tanning. Here's my number. I have yours for some reason. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. And it's, there's a really funny line. Like, they, they do that thing, and then, like, one of them goes to the other one. like, that was really nice of us, which is, like, really, really funny. Yeah. Uh, it's funny. Oh, they're also uh, she's you know she makes a big thing Wendy does about yeah. like I'm not going to graduation. Oh right, uh, you're fine. Any in any event, you're fine skipping well, graduation for any reason. Well, yeah. Oh Who's, yeah, at any level. Well, she's <laughs> not going to graduation. She's got to be like a star witness at the fucking lawsuitorama <laughs> that's going to, on with this carnival. That's true. <laughs> You they want to fucking be taken for a ride. They're about to be taken for a ride. Absolutely. Uh, so these girls, Ashley and Ashlyn, uh, getting ready for graduation, want to be tanned for it. Right. They start to go tanning, which is a fad. I mean, it still it still exists, but it was those it was more of a culture at the time. It I was think. massive in in the mid aughts. Now they're like still around, yes. but not as not as prevalent. There's a tanning boom, one might say. So they go and. They know the guy, I guess, this Russian guy. By the way, this dude is going to jail. I, I, I hate to bring it to you. <laughs> yep. The, the fucking Reaper set this dude up. He is taking the fall for this one. Because there's, for, like, what happens to these yes. two girls? There's no way this dude is not getting blamed for it. Mm -hmm. This no. is an amazing death, though. It's, uh, I mean, it's fantastic. I will say, well, yeah, he's like fighting with so his girlfriend on his phone or something like that. Yeah, he's like this Russian dude, and he's like yelling at his girlfriend. And I guess because like these two women are uh, like regulars here, yeah, you know, old Lugosh is like, <laughs> all right, you know, you know what to do. I have. She's on the phone. She's yelling. I have to go. Reception only good out on back porch. <laughs> have to confirm Bitcoin. <laughs> have to confirm it via phone still. <laughs> <laughs> Payment terms all over the place. Uh, so this dude like goes back outside, and there's a weird like a thing of like sunblock or something yeah. falls on the ground, and this door swings closed. Well, no, like he's propping it open, right? Yeah. Like yeah. Oh, that's. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is a bad way. You need a, a firm object, pal. How about yes. just make sure the fucking door doesn't lock when you close it? Like, or that. also you're the owner. Get the yeah, keys. You have the fucking keys. <laughs> Uh, so these two girls are in the, the tanning bed booth or whatever, uh, and they're, like, you know, prepping the whole room, and they're, like, getting a CD. And I guess I forgot is... my iPod. Yeah. Oh, big time, dude. Yeah, iPod. That hit weird yeah. to and your then, ears. Uh, they find a CD uh, boombox. Oh, my yes, Lord. Like, like, these vintage fun songs such as, what was it, like, Roller, Roller Coaster? Roller Coaster, man. Yeah. By... It's a jam. Yeah. I forget who it is. And Ohio is it, something is the name of the band. I don't remember. I, I kind of agree rack. with Eric here. Is it? Yeah, it's a great I song. Mean, I, I love that song. It's fine. Because these girls, these fucking 16 or 17 year old girls are fucking loving this song. Yeah, I like, just love that they don't see the irony in the song that they're listening yeah, to at that moment. True. But, but what you know, Frankie Cheeks would love to be a fly on the wall in this scene. Oh, this absolutely. Scene was directed by Frankie Cheeks, I think. <laughs> they get naked, like super naked. Yeah. Super naked, yeah. One of them's like, why do you still have your underwear on? Oh, because my boyfriend gets off on tan line. Oh, right. Yeah, totally. I was like, am I? About to watch pornography? Yes, exactly. This was weird. Is this, did I choose the pornography setting on my <laughs> Choose Your Own Adventure thing? Uh, press, press select now if you'd like to see hard dick. Man, every movie Stop have... pressing select. You will see hard dick in a moment. I promise it's coming. Hang on a second. Sir, You're breaking stop. it. You're breaking it. 
The hard dick is on the way, sir. I promise you. <laughs> every movie should have a pornography set. Oh, of yeah, course. I think so. You know, like like to every audience, like like the Muppet movies, <laughs> people would love that. Clint Eastwood's <laughs> Unforgiven. <laughs> exactly. Yes, see what else is going on in the fucking whorehouse, man. Yeah, Absolutely. You already have sex workers. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're no, this is on the way to Unforgiven. Hey, Morgan Freeman, it's getting a little cold out here on the range. <laughs> to keep each other warm. I would watch that. <laughs> well, you know, Clint, it's always been my feeling. <laughs> the bucket list? Oh, yeah. yeah no. We got nothing left. What are you waiting for? Now this is living. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right when he gets penetrated, he goes like, oh. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, so they're like <laughs> fucking around. Yeah, the guy gets locked out. He makes a point of telling them no beverages yes. in the room, uh, which they're like, Smart. fuck you, you Russian turd. <laughs> and they bring in, they're drinking like fucking big gulp Slurpees from 7 yeah. Eleven. All right. Gross. Uh, so the, the girl puts that down on a thing and there's condensation. They're like, Oh, it's cold in here. I'm yeah. like, you're about to get in a fucking tanning bed. What do you care about the temperature of the room? And like they they do something with the temperature and then the temperature like death is obviously being involved. It yeah. goes up and up and up. And there's this bo- there the radio is on a fucking rickety old shelf that falls and the board actually traps them both inside. I mean, this is the magic bullet. Yeah, like, yeah. It goes like in and out and then through to both of them so that's they're both why, locked in. Wait that's why Lugash is going down, <laughs> You're dude. totally right, dude. Very true. The magic bullet thing got, got me thinking, what did JFK avoid <laughs> that then the magic bullet got him? Oh, like, there was like, some, there was like some like a uh, boat accident out at Hyannisport. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> I uh, just dodged a bullet there. I'd only killed those girls. <laughs> Thank God for that. I almost uh, fell over when I was putting her body in the lake. <laughs> Here, uh, it seems that death is after me. <laughs> That's now, what it finally they're, they're killing in the order of we would have died in the boat. <laughs> That's what finally caught up to Teddy, man. Finally, the lion went down. Yeah. Yeah, I love that, like, what Tony Todd just waited around and then just <laughs> trickled brain cancer in at the last second. Yeah, but he said, Chappaquiddick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so, like, this thing locks them both in and, like, it starts to cook up. This is when I pressed choose. So they basically burn horrifically, like, yeah. it's a pretty it's brutal crispy death. crispy critter yeah. town. Yeah, Big time. It is beautiful. It's a, it's a fucking fantastic death. There was so much of this movie. By the way, I'd never seen this before. Did First it. time I was watching it. My fucking jaw was on the floor for a lot of these deaths. Uh, the glass is breaking. It's like shattering into them while they're burning. It's horrific. They're like the 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 lights are literally like melting around yeah. the light. Yeah. But if you press whatever on my thing, it's like, oh, do you right. want her to put the thing up to? Do you want her to change the temperature or not change the temperature? And I'm like, what? oh, which is the one that's gonna make it different? So I I, <laughs> I did it. And basically, she doesn't change the temperature. One of the girls, uh-huh. it's, it's a brunette and a blonde. Uh, the, the brunette actually gets out of the tanning bed before it starts to really cook up. Uh-huh. But she the, lives? No, but the board hit, knocks her out cold. Oh, funny. And then the blonde <laughs> is able to get out. But as she's getting out, she gets electrocuted and electrocutes both of them. It's like an alternate oh, death. Interesting. That's, it's Listen. But they're nude. But they are definitely oh, okay. totally oh, okay. new gotcha. the entire time. It's just such a waste of time. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, can you imagine being an actor on the set and it's like, all right, now you're contractually obligated <laughs> to film these DVD extras. <laughs> and what Am do you, I? What do you think the audience for the Final Destination 3 DVD is? Huge. Do Massive. The, Massive. Yes, yeah. but do you think they are into this idea of... Absolutely not. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> Hey, babe, we're going to watch it again now with the Choose Your Own Adventure setting. I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> you sure? Yes. How's that hamburger helper coming along? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> After that, we're playing Halo, baby. <laughs> Great. Can't wait. Uh, so they're dead. So they're dead. Super dead. They go to their funeral. We're at their funeral. This priest is kind of like riffing a little bit. He's like, Oh, a lot of dead young people these days. <laughs> it's a funny funeral. It is. It's a very funny funeral. As far as I understand it, though, and let me just quick check IMDb to see if we're given last names here uh, for these two. Yeah, 
they're definitely not related. Why are we doing joint funeral? I guess because they died together and they were friends. They were besties, dude. They were besties, yeah. Uh, yeah I guess so, they right? That's just best like friends it. forever. That includes death, Andy. They, they oh. had it written in their wills that they definitely made. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this is one of my favorite moments in this movie because I don't think I'd seen anything quite like this, and I've attended several of uh, several funerals in my day. Mm-hmm. Uh Funeral heckling? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, dude, it's awesome. So this goth kid, McKinley, is why like, would he even go to her funeral? I that's a great question. You know why? Because there's no adults in this town, and you gotta have somebody in the fucking scene. <laughs> and he's yeah. gonna try out new material. He's gotta have a good audience. This priest is like, as we send our two young lambs into God's arms. This dude's like, fucking horse shit. And just starts going off on this guy, and he's like, "Oh yeah, if God loves us so much, how is it that like uh, they're uh, you know what does he say? He's like so and so are still alive? Or oh yeah, something. Like, oh yeah. Charlie Manson lived to be seventy six or whatever. He's still alive. He's seventy years old. Yeah, but yeah. these two girls, and this this blows this movie wide open because this kid says." And those two girls didn't even get to live to be 18. Yes. Which means the nudity that we just saw in the, the prior scene is two 17-year-olds totally naked. Very nice, Borat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Just yeah. pointed out there. I don't think I don't think the <laughs> script supervisor was paying Frankie attention on Cheek's that. Cheeks crimes all the more egregious. Yeah. Oh Absolutely. yeah. And by the way, they weren't sending lambs to God. They were sending gyro. <laughs> they're they're cooked. Oh, <laughs> oh well I, done, I, I, Chris I, I, Gavin. Yes. Well done. You like that one, Chris I do. Gavin? I do. Good. Now I'm hungry. I want to fucking. Yeah, now I'm oh man, I've been dying for up. one. Oh. Meanwhile, Lugash has got a fucking spike in his arm, and the fucking like, <laughs> they're oh, putting him down immediately, yep, dude, you like fucking, a dog. <laughs> you cook two white girls up, man. You are going. You're there putting you down that night. His funeral should be happening here too. <laughs> Well, it's the two of them are like the caskets are getting lowered into the ground, and then Lugash is getting burned at the stake in the background. Uh, thank goodness for mob justice. <laughs> Get him, <'em>, boys. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he gets thrown out of this funeral. Um, Kevin is there. Kevin runs into Wendy. They start talking. She's like, I think you were right. By the way, Wendy, during this whole fucking cook up scene, was looking at their photos on the digital camera. Oh, and right. It looked kind And this is when this movie loses me entirely. <laughs> yeah, this it is looks, dumb. I love this. It's so dumb. It looks kind of sort of like they're red, so they might be on fire. Right. They're also holding, death. holding an inflatable palm tree, which also brings to oh, mind yes. tanning. Yeah. Got oh, it. Oh, wow. right. This, this whole concept of looking for clues in the photographs is such a stretch. I mean, this is where we start getting like Wendy ends up buying into it yeah. and she's like, Look at this last photo of Lincoln. You see that line on his head? That's <laughs> where he got shot in the head. It's Dude. all pointing to it. And then <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, I cannot believe it's a photograph yep. of the Twin Towers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's an airplane shadow on one. Yeah. Now the question is. Is that just a photograph that someone took on 9-11 moments I, before? No, I don't think so. I, I mean, think but that has to be specified. No, 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 no I digital, know that. But. It not, it's all photography predicting deaths. Yeah. yeah, but it had to happen a little bit before. No, she says yes. it's a month before. Oh, oh does she oh, say yeah, that? Yeah, something, yeah, yeah. Or something like that. Oh, okay. But by the way, this movie was filmed in 2005 written in 2004 probably three fucking super bowls pass and we're fucking making 911 <laughs> references in our horror movie it was still just a huge hole at that point yeah. man and the shadow looks like peter pan's shadow mm-hmm. it's it's, re- not, it's yes. not just a little faint thing it's a fucking big black ink stain Boy, it's so I mean, stupid 911 would be so much better if peter pan collided into the world <laughs> trade center the shadow's just like jumping up on the tower <laughs> Trying to sew it to his butt, waving it down. <laughs> uh, yeah, this whole like Abe Lincoln in nine eleven, it is so fucking dumb. But it doesn't sort of. I mean, like, what are the rules? Like, do all photos you ever take for portend your death, or is it just no? The last it's this one? camera. It's an evil camera. I w- that would make so much. If it was an evil camera, I'd be so oh, like into passed it. down throughout the ages, and yeah. like it got reworked. <laughs> like part of the lens was put into her it digital just kept camera. Kept up being resold on Overstock.com. <laughs> Dude, that is a franchise and a half, man. We keep buying this used digital camera. <laughs> That's a movie. Of course it is. Also, it this whole thing about like the camera capturing the method of death, 
Boy, is it very close to a Goosebumps story. It, yes, Say it is. Say cheese or die. <laughs> Does anybody remember? Because I certainly oh, wow, do. Oh, wow. Really Absolutely. It's about a camera that you clickety-clack and then, yeah. I mean, that's a, I mean, there was a Twilight Zone about that, too, sort yes, of. Yes, there definitely was. Um, yeah, so this is, you know, this is what I think the Amish are terrified of. <laughs> right, yeah. Steal your soul. Yeah. Oh, no, English. It's going to portend your death. Oh, no, English. Uh, I think that 9-11 photo is a bit of a stretch. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, this causes her to start buying into what Kevin was saying. Say, English, why'd you put up two (laughs) bonds identical next to each other so tall? No bond can stand that high, English. How many cows you got up there? (laughs) (laughs) Explaining skyscrapers to Amish people. They know what they are. A milk explosion would have put out the fucking fire. I mean, putting cows up there would have been smart. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. We should insulate Just all maybe. buildings with cows. Live cows. <laughs> um, but this is when they're like, she gets, she like kind of faints. And he's like, hey, when's the last time you ate? She's like, I don't remember. So it's like, oh. All right, well, we got to go eat. We got to go get some food. Some Nothing grub. I love doing, man. You leave the old fucking cemetery mm-hmm. grounds, go right to the drive through mm-hmm. Absolutely. And this is one of my favorite, the the most gruesome death. This oh. is the dumbest thing ever because this fucking truck starts backing into them. <laughs> yes. Meanwhile, another truck is now running amok with no driving. It is the it. funniest shot in the yes! movie. This truck is rolling down the hill and the guy is like, no, like running after <laughs> it. poor Giuseppe. Oh, my God. And it's a dude. They almost hit this guy yes. as they were driving. Kevin almost fucking rammed this guy. I this I literally slapped my knee when I saw this guy waving his Just arms. Just waving his arms, running down the hill after this fucking truck. What? Oh, you're you're also not talking about the near divorce couple behind oh, dude, them yes. where yep. the guy is like, come on. <laughs> they only get the sausage biscuits only for two more hours. <laughs> Come on! They're freaking out. And I think, so- Arlene, I'm yelling quite enough. It's fine. <laughs> I would be yelling more, but I'm taking you into consideration it's here. It's like my dad always said, Doreen, box them in. <laughs> box them in hard. Uh, so they're boxed in, and in the, they're trying, they see this truck rolling down, and they're like, oh, my God, oh, my God. They, they honk their horn. The guy in front of them gives them the middle finger. <laughs> Are you supposed to not know that this is Frankie Cheeks? You're right not here? supposed to know that yet. I okay. see. Yeah, so this dude gives the finger without looking back. Yes. Something I've done multiple times. Not sure. in the drive through but. No, because you're too close. It's the old, like, I'm not even going to give the, the, sure. the courtesy of looking back at you when I'm giving you the finger. I'm just giving you the finger. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so this truck's coming. It's this whole thing. They're trying the, the truck that's backing into them, like T bone side, oh like, right, gets like can't get out of the car, or whatever. So this kid is like kicking the fucking windshield of this car. Yeah, and they escape, and well, this they is jump off the car like it's the fugitive. <laughs> they do, yeah. Very while much the is. truck hits their car, and of course, and all I could think about though is the Simpsons parody of that because it happens yes. at a drive through. Oh, that's right, yeah, Which and, is, and they assume because Frankie Cheeks is a pervert. That he's not going to hear all of this. Yeah, I don't know what he, what music he was listening to. Like hear a all the honking. How could it matter though? He's in a fucking top-down convertible. But like, drive away. Like, you know what I mean? Like, no, that's I what guess, I'm saying though. Oh, yeah. Like, th- yes, there's no excuse yes. for the music. Are you waiting the, for your food? Come on, what is the story with those nuggets? I think that's what it is. It's like, <laughs> has the chickens hatched yet, man? <laughs> Jeez, I, I got my shake. I got my burger. What is going on with the nuggets, people? <laughs> Frankie needs his chicken tendies. <laughs> honk, honk, honk. Oh, my God, he's done. Nuggets. 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 So his brain turns into nuggets. Yeah. Dude, this is awesome. So the truck hits or whatever, and then the fucking engine of this dude's car yes. shoots out, and the fan fucking just chops this dude's head. It is so gruesome. It oh is really my good. God, it's great. Guess what, my motherfucker there's a photo of frankie in that digital camera standing in front of a fan i shit you not whoa in the three times i played the choose your own adventure game the alternate version of frankie's death isn't a death at all he gets away no no the fucking sex it's criminal the thing is like, do you want wendy to honk the horn again and i clicked yes so she honks the horn again same thing happens uh kevin kicks out the window Kevin then saves Frankie from Ew. his car. What? And then, like, Frankie's like, thanks, man, I made it. And, like, he, like, kind of runs away. And, like, 
wow, we say we st- we changed Death's plan. Totally different movie now. Uh, you know, well, I think they did this also to be like to avoid leaks. Like no oh, one knows, no one knows what's going to happen to this. Oh, movie. that's it's an interesting that. point. Oh, maybe. Well, so let me ask you this about this though. When you're doing these alternate endings and whatnot, is it like? watch the movie in alternate ending form or is it just like the scenes are you clicking to scenes no it, it, it you're watching the movie a big dumb red thing flashes up where it's like would you like wendy to do this or that right you choose that uh-huh. and then the movie continues but so for this like frankie cheese yeah. thing i mean that really upsets the whole the timeline or whatever so did can you just watch the rest of the movie? I think you can, but they probably don't talk about it again. Like, you know what I mean? That's like, the so movie is weird. set up in such a way where they don't really talk about it. Oh, but so if you're a diehard, you, you know, destinationer, uh-huh. you know, an fd or if you will, yeah, mm-hmm. sure. you know how this game rolls, right? Yeah, it's yeah. the order. I assume in part two, it's the order. It's the same thing, yeah, sure. right? Yes. Yeah. So do you, did you, when you were watching this, did you like skip back a chapter and then redo it? Oh, no. Or? I mean, I, I watched the whole movie the regular way. And then yeah. I was like, oh, let me fuck around with this thing. And that's oh, what I did okay. afterwards. So this I is, see. Until I literally got tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised true. you made it this far into the film. Uh, also great touch here like the because the two of them so wendy and kevin are like holy <laughs> yeah shit i mean it, it, because they get sprayed with brain matter and shit but what's awesome though is they're slowly approaching like i cannot believe this is a thing and then like the motor has one last little oh, bit of juice left in it and the fan cranks like one more time and like throws him forward a little bit and more brains go everywhere she gets jackie kennedy man she- <laughs> <laughs> I uh, need them nuggets. <laughs> nuggets. 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 No, I, I got the nuggets. I need my nugget sauce. I'm not eating them dry. Oh, did you look at that? They got onion rings now. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. W- would it be a huge pain if I changed the nuggets to onion rings at this point? Uh, So hilarious thing right around here. Kevin's like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I miss uh, Carrie real bad. I was going to ask her to marry me, you know? And yeah. I'm like, douche chill. She was going to break up with do you, you. Do you get one of these choice things to tell him? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to break? Then he throws himself off a bridge. <laughs> do you want to break Kevin's spirit now or no? <laughs> yes, yes. I'm yes, hitting please. select. I'm hitting select. Please, I beg of you. In this scene, they actually go back to Wendy's house. They're going through her digital fucking thing. By the way, all of the digital stuff. You, her putting in this fucking weird digital camera wire, mm-hmm. man. It's it a took USB me back. cord, but no, but the, yeah. the, the the top is a weird one, like the oh right to go it, into the camera. Yeah, yeah I sure. love it. And um, so they're looking at all the photos. Yeah, this is when he looks at Carrie. He's like, oh wow, do you think that she would? have And she's like, yeah, that's great. But then he's like, I don't want to look at mine. I can't look at mine. And right. she's like, he's like, did you look at mine? And she's like, yeah, I did. He's like, don't tell me, don't tell me. Wait, is there anything in my ass? No, don't tell me, don't tell me. And I'm like. Wait, what was that? There's nothing <laughs> up my ass, is there? Is it? Does it look green and really cool? No, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Because I'll throw that out now. So, I mean, it's awesome. I love it. But wait, could it, should I use it? No, no. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Carrie was into some real wild shit. Was he doing like all these photos were like at the carnival? So was did you put anything in your ass at the carnival? Yeah, he got an egg. He got an egg. <laughs> and he put it up there, a vibrating egg. Oh, shit. And Carrie had the, the remote. Oh, the, oh, she had the remote. She died with the remote yeah. in her hands. Oh, man. Oh, God. That's a beautiful story. <laughs> yeah, the prize you won at this carnival is some sort of cheap sex toy. Oh, God. You, a carnival sex toy? I'm throwing up. <laughs> There's not enough boiling yeah. water in the world. <laughs> it's a vibrating egg made out of an actual egg. <laughs> Oh, look, it looks like Marvin the Martian. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm going to go up your ass. <laughs> now, now you're going to need... This is very insulting. <laughs> it's you, dark in here. You're going to need AAA batteries <laughs> for this, not those doubles. <laughs> go into my disintegration ray setting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God, it's a Marvin the Martian colonoscopy. That's awesome, dude. Have him clean out your colon. Absolutely. <laughs> That's when the spikes come out. <laughs> But yeah, he's like, did anything go in my ass? Don't tell me, don't tell me. And she's like, I like you. But the weird thing, (laughs) 
they never get together. Like the, the weird. Uh, I, I was, kind of a will they, won't they for part of this film. Yeah, it kind of is. Sort which of. is weird because my only other reference point in this franchise is the first one, which yeah. we established on our episode. It's a deleted scene. Yes. But Devin Sawa definitely fucks what's her face. In Allie Larder. Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah. A, this movie's more sexual, but there's no sex in it. Like, you know yeah, what I mean? Get you to think, fucking. Get to fucking. These yes. two should get. Like, I don't know. Like, everyone around me is dying. No, no, Literally, no. I know I'm on this death no. course. Like, I'm definitely fucking don't, somebody. Don't you play with the fucking runtime. <laughs> <laughs> the like, best runtime I've like, ever seen in my fucking life. Bring back the upskirt girl and have her die in some sexual intercourse. We do. <laughs> I was going to look for another word, but. It happens. Intercourse. You are going to die in some <laughs> sexual intercourse. You do. Charles Bronson in. <laughs> sexual. Yeah, I don't know why I used Bronson for that. But oh, whatever. dude, no. She gets. She has sex with the dude from Seven with the fucking knife uh, dildo. Anyway. You'll never believe. It's sexual intercourse. This Leland Orser. Leland Orser. Uh, dude, we Cabin were... and I were at the New York Film Festival the other day. And in between screenings, we were talking about... I don't know even how it came up. And we Mary Elizabeth Winstead because she... Uh, I she, was, she dates Leland Orser. No, she was married to the guy who did a recent Leland Orser movie called okay. Faults. Oh, okay. That's right. And I couldn't think of Leland Orser. And then the movie started and I was like, well, I guess we're never going to solve that <laughs> mystery. Who? That that's weird. That was like two days yeah, ago. Yeah, before she broke up her marriage and uh, her and Ewan McGregor on Fargo. Oh. This is a long time before that, I guess. Oh, big time. Yeah. yeah. She's great on Fargo. Sexual she intercourse in theaters <laughs> this November. It'll it six. <laughs> It'll hit the back wall. There. <laughs> there we go. I don't know. Uh, so, like, they, they're like, oh, then, well, first of all, we have to because this movie already showed uh, nudity. You do, like, it's 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 a joke when Kevin goes upskirt on this girl to take the picture. Sure. But then we see it later, and, like, you really see all of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, you, you definitely do. That was quite something. A co-production with the Bang Bros, Final <laughs> Destination 3. Uh, also appropriately 2006, Steve. Exactly. Nice. Uh, Catherine, I got to tell you, I'm sorry, but we need you to have an actual camel toe <laughs> for production. I mean, it's there. It's there for the all the who, same. Who are the Bang Bros? They were... Do they operate it? the bus? I think so, right? Or... or <laughs> Am I, am I mixing it up? Was it the bang? It was no. the bang bus. It was the bang bus. I don't know if there were bang bros. I think I'm you, sure there were bang. I'm bros. sure there were bang. Somewhere bros. in time, <laughs> <laughs> there have been bang bros. Oh. oh my god, I love the idea of the bang bros being caught in time. It's just these two scumbags around all these dinosaurs. Holy like, fuck! I don't know how are we gonna fuck anything. I can't believe it. Oh jeez, the bang bros. They, they use the word talent a lot. <laughs> oh, definitely. They would ruin the whole timeline because they'd be like banging ne- Neanderthals and shit. And then it's kind of hot though, bro. <laughs> oh man, I'm my own great 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 grandfather. Bang bros. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, oh shit, man. I, <laughs> I, fuck, I, I fuck Mary Todd Lincoln last night. <laughs> Bang bros. <laughs> There's all these widows after the <laughs> Civil War. They need some oh dicking on them. God. Holy fuck, dude. Dude, the Bang Bros are terrible all throughout history. Uh, they're terrors. <laughs> uh, so then they determine that the next up is that dude, Lewis, who yeah. is like the jock guy. And it, he's like at some college trying out for the football team. So they got to like go on a road trip to find this guy. Yeah, this scene is absolutely hysterical. End to end. So it's in his incredible. photo, like. There is like sabers because yeah. there's like a fucking. I think it's even like a sultan. Yeah, yeah, there's like an Alibaba thing. It's yeah. fucking offensive as all get out. <laughs> that was at the carnival. Yeah. So they're like, maybe that has something to do with it because the 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 mascot of this team is also the sultans, and right. the, the, the picture is the dude with like the huge swords or whatever. And they have actual <laughs> yes. fucking swords. Pretty dumb. In this goddamn sharp, sharp. sharpened. There's a fucking these are these are props. These are stage swords. None of them should be sharp. There's even a sharp sword. Sharp swords. Later in the film that shouldn't be sharp shouldn't be a sharp. They bring sword. these things to the fucking local farmers market where there's the one guy who fucking sharpens knives everywhere. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's got a stone wheel, dude. He's gonna fucking week. sharpen for you. It's they should be plastic. Come of on, course. everybody. Yes. So they're on. They're in this training facility. It's all these dudes going to. Yeah, we're going to fucking kick whatever the other team's ass. Yeah. There's this big bear in the room because the bear is like the mascot for the oh, other right. team, and it's all these guys just 
woofing and screaming at this stuffed bear. And I'm laughing. It's amazing. And we put on new metal for the first time in the film. Shocked it took this long. Yeah. Completely shocked. Because like, everyone's getting amped and they're like, Lewis, oh my God. You're in danger. I'm not in danger. I'm, I'm I'm invincible, baby. And he's like doing all this stuff. And yeah, like, he's talking about how like his life has been exactly how he has foreseen it. Like his entire high school football career, no injuries. Now he's playing college football. And then Kevin's like, but dude, you wanted to play for the fucking bear team and you didn't get into that college. So this is why you're with the Sultans. And he's like, yeah, well, they fucking suck anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the Go Bruins. Sultans. The Bruins suck. The and Bruins. That's everyone right. Everyone yeah. is grunting yes. to such a weird degree that it sounds like music, and everyone is like working out wrong here. Yeah, yeah. It's all like you're not supposed to set you set off the lunk alarm. <laughs> yeah, you're not. Like, you're not <laughs> it's just like enough. too much. Like you're banging up and down. You're not getting enough benefit from the workout. Think about the muscles you're working out. That's guys. a great point. It's not just throwing shit up well, and throwing it, stuff down. It's like it just turned into a Paul Verhoeven movie for fucking yes. five minutes. <laughs> like everything is escalated now. This is like a heightened reality. I and mean, they're all screaming and shit. And like you think the swords are gonna decapitate him, which you know that's what you're watching this movie for. Sure. Uh, the swords do fall, and then nothing happens. Like, yeah, I told you, baby. Yeah, man. Yeah. And then the weights from the fucking machine. He's doing like a shoulder press thing. Right. And he I does an the, extra one. Yeah. Yeah. The swords like cut something that's holding the weights in place or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. And so they come. They fly back together and just smoosh this dude's head. It's a it's a Gallagher explosion. It's- it is unrealistic <laughs> to say the least and also Big time. i don't know you could smash a head but like just have him have his eye pop out like in friday the 13th part three or yeah. seriously yeah. just rewatch that this friday oh, the 13th yeah. nice much better than i remembered at the I time i always liked that one those Which lists are so fluid the third one? Oh yeah the third one's a lot of fun with like one's the good. bikers yeah, in the yeah. barn and all that good stuff I, his hockey mask I, yeah. if, if i'm merely elizabeth winstead and this other dude i might be calling it quits on this road trip I've been sprayed with brain matter twice in as many days. Like, yep. you know what I mean? Yep. Like, yep. And I don't even know these people really. Like, I would write them an email. Like, dude, be careful. Yeah. Like, I, you got in a fight with that one guy. Yeah. You don't like this guy. I'd no. be researching ways to be in solitary confinement that's yes. not jail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. The Devon Sawa route. Get the the, yeah, the safe cabin thing going on. Oh, right. So you have to find a girl whose parents abandoned her. <laughs> yeah. And the family homestead at the same time, and she just lives. There they're like a hermit. So then you can make a bug house. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, bug. Good movie. Right, uh, right. So they 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 leave and like, well, that was another fucking fuck up. <laughs> they go visit the goth twins, uh, the, 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 their boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. They're working at like a home. But they're depot. twins? No, that they're, they're having sex with each oh, other? Oh, 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 they're the bang twins. <laughs> bang bros. <laughs> bang siblings. <laughs> this is, yeah, uh, McKinley and Aaron are the two uh, right. characters and McKinley here. has gotten this crazy idea to load a nail gun and use it to shoot pigeons. This is oh, insane. Yeah. And this, this is was Dahmer another- Town, my this friend. Is, you are you're not even a little yep. kid anymore. You're like 19 at this point, mm-hmm. McKinley. Like yeah. I was like, dude, that pigeon <sighs> man did not deserve that. But you, McKinley, deserve whatever's also, coming your way. They are like now these characters. You'd think they'd be a little lax in responsibility, whatever. But they take this job at this. Weird <laughs> yeah, I know. Home they're working depot. at like a Lowe's or something. Yeah, they take it so seriously. It's like we got to get rid of these fucking pigeons because we care about this Lowe's. Well, they're getting rid of the pigeons because you know who was complaining? Oh shit! Osama bin supervisor. <laughs> yeah, this is where that line comes. And I was like, what the fuck? I had to rewind. I was yeah. like, what the fuck? First of all, say? no one said that. We were still using Hitler. That's the gold standard. <laughs> I'm actually a little worried that Osama bin Supervisor might be a man of Arab descent, which oh, is like a whole fuck. different board. Like, it's one thing to be like, oh, man, this guy's a real asshole, like Osama bin Laden. It's another thing to throw that the way of your, like, oh, yeah. your supervisor of Middle Eastern descent. That's uh-huh. a good point. Yeah. But sure. we never see, because it's, like, yeah. it's just the two of them closing this huge hardware store in the <laughs> middle of the night by themselves but at least they didn't say saddam hussein because that guy was just ru- running a sovereign country yeah the, you know, supervisor hussein was actually a <laughs> criminal saddam hussein was just a legitimate head of state that we did defer- hey defer- man you know what like pff, show me where those wmds were yeah i'll wait <laughs> bend over and i won't show you because they never exist <laughs> uh- manager gaddafi <laughs> <laughs> that would be better i mean i don't know Manager you know Momar kind of flows off the tongue. Yeah. Let's just not. 
<laughs> I guess is the lesson. The point is, we never learned the true identity of Osama bin Supervisor. No, no, no. Just just one way or another. Do illusions. you think he would go to the funeral? Oh, maybe. You, well, you would have to at this point. You this have to pay. To you. I think you're paying for it. No. Paying for what? For the nail girl. Yeah. Oh, because oh, it let's happened get at work. Yeah. So, oh, right. uh, they show up and they're like, guys, oh my God, the whole fucking path. And like, fucking McKinley's an asshole. And he's like, being like, it's one thing to tell people to go fuck themselves. It's another thing like to talk to them and like mm-hmm. try and disprove their theory. He's trying to destroy them with logic. Right. Yeah, his whole his whole argument is like, well, the person, if your whole lineup thing, your theory is correct here, then wouldn't it be prudent for the person who was supposed to go last to just kill themselves yeah. and stop this whole thing and save how many lives by sacrificing their own? Isn't that right? Wendy and I'm like McKinley you are not winning any points for me but I love no. the idea that's just like well obviously logically someone should just kill themselves <laughs> I mean is suicide ever addressed in this franchise I, I fucking forget I watched think... all of them earlier this year I mean I, I this think... is a scenario where I would kill myself I would, I would say definitely... guys go through them all I it's think a... it was Eric Siska a little final green stination here <laughs> exactly but <laughs> It was not bad watching it's all It's one of the movies. better franchises. All but five are streaming on Hulu. Five is awful, I think. Five Wait, is, no, no. Four is awful. Four is the bad one. Yes. Five, five is the one I okay. like. Four was the one that was in 3D, I think. Yes, I think Possibly. so. Possibly. It's like, how do you fuck that up? It's and, the and, three but, should be the 3D. Come on. By the way, if we're <laughs> wrong, don't tweet it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah nobody, nobody cares. Only tweet Dotson. cheers. Dotson <laughs> tweeting. <laughs> Only tweet cheers. Jeers are not allowed. Yeah, that's, that's true. True. And snitch tagging gets you blocked. Mm-hmm. Right. And um actually gets you muted. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> Don't tag Osama bin Laden. In <laughs> oh. oh my God. Osama. Add Osama bin Laden. There were, we we used to talk a lot of shit about you this week. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Come on. <laughs> Five million followers. <laughs> there goes my career. You exposed me to Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> he's going to get a blue check mark on Osama Bin Laden. Yeah, he's going to get that blue check mark right before he gets a fucking job in the White House. Hanging out with the boys today. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We're going to have to bring Osama Bin Laden back from the dead. We're rolling back every Obama <laughs> Get those bullets out of his face right now. Osama bin Frankenstein. <laughs> hey, yes, this is my uh, son-in-law, Jared Kushner. He'll be our necromancer. <laughs> <laughs> it's alive. Alive. <laughs> Jared Kushner has a better ch- better chance of bringing Osama bin Laden back from the dead than bringing peace to the Middle East. Uh, 100%. <laughs> Uh, come on, Jared. You know a thing or two about golems, right? <laughs> right. He's right a little thing and put it in his mouth. <laughs> Get, get me the bang twins on the phone. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes I mean Jared and Ivanka. Uh, this is the most mouse trappy of the mouse yes. trap games. I loved this whole sequence. Like so, uh, McKinley almost gets it. Like by a bunch of like wooden stakes are about. To, th- th- there's a fucking forklift driving at them. He like he slips on some sawdust and yeah. it's like oh almost got him there. Yeah, he almost falls off the thing. Almost got him there. Yeah. All this wood. This is like these fucking huge sheets of wood are just falling on these kids. This kid is fucking sawing. Like they're, they're like, all right, we just got to put away this one aisle and then we're going away. And then later they're continuing the conversation. This kid's sawing wood. I'm like, for what? It's like 11 o'clock at night. What are you doing? Are Do you it doing tomorrow? Some pre-cut for the morning? You're trying to get ahead of the shift? <laughs> exactly. What's happening? You're right, Eric. These people really love this job. They're trying to make assistant manager. Yeah. Seriously, like yeah. I don't understand this initiative they have. Two <laughs> kids go in the parking lot, smoke some weed. Right? Exactly. So, like, it's a high school job. Yes. You're supposed to be shitty at it. Yep. That's what it's there for. Mm-hmm. Drink it on the job, A-OK. <laughs> exactly mm-hmm. right. Uh, but then, so yeah, they, they turn the tables here. He gets saved, and then it jumps to the next person, which is his girlfriend. Yes. And this is stupendous. She falls back. This fucking nail gun starts going off. Oh. She gets 13 nails in the back of the head. It's like the pinhead beginning or something. <laughs> 30 wax with a wet noodle, Bart. Now, Steve, did you have an option here on the DVD? I think I stopped watching it for some Oh, hour. boner you jam. Were, you were a research guy. Yeah, I was. I this was. is why we need that intern. 50-year-olds <laughs> only. Do. Definitely. <laughs> and remember, just like we talked about, you're wearing a fucking lab coat. <laughs> 
He's sitting down watching a DVD in a lab coat for some reason. We just go to a retirement home and each week give them the DVD of whatever we're watching. All the extras and if they have any other stuff. <laughs> I want to report on my desk on Monday. And you're not getting paid. I didn't like it, Staffin. <laughs> I did. Some old confused man. <laughs> you know that dirty grandpa reminded me of myself. <laughs> now you're fired. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's quite enough of that. <laughs> that's no college credit for you now. Um, yeah, so she gets thirteen in the face. It is brutal. Sort of. Oh. This kind of brings us to sort of the end of the movie. Yeah, uh, she's like kind of the last big death. Uh, Wendy is like still trying to figure shit out. She they- gets like they get kind of arrested after this oh, one. Oh right, yes. And I was wondering if there was a deleted scene situation here because she comes out of this police station. Yeah. And there's these two detectives who are just like watching her walk yes. away. They don't have any lines, but it really looks like we should have met these guys. No previously. adults. This, uh, no adults have any lines in no. this. No, they should just weird. put them in and do. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> oh, dude, the peanuts cut. Yeah. Just get that in there. But you gotta imagine the police are both a suspicious and b exhausted <laughs> <laughs> because of what has been going on in this goddamn town. I mean, I just don't know how you. Th- even suspect someone of it. I mean, these are some ridiculous accidents. Yeah, I mean, first of all, you got Luga. She's definitely in the, in the clink for the first one. That's a, that's, a, that's <laughs> well, that that's, that's an sure. open and shut case. Yeah. Like well, at the end, you know, at the end of the movie, they should get him to confess to all the killings. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh yeah, we are currently uh, holding the uh, manager of Buddy Burger. Um, <laughs> Oh, we're no, saying that, his drive through is a little too tight. The, the <laughs> fat truck driver that's running after his truck, that guy's lost his trucking license at the very yeah. least. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, it's like he's driving for Walmart. <laughs> um, so she she's, like, talking to her sister, who's been sort of a character this whole movie. There's, like, a lucky... Br- uh, bracelet that's going on something something like grandma's inheritance or what grandma's this, dead this is when the secret twist is that the sister who's like been kind of shitty to her the whole movie she's like get over that stupid roller coaster it's, incident it's amanda crew from uh silicon, silicon valley. valley yeah, yeah. she's and, supposed to be younger than her but they look the same yeah they could yeah, name her yeah, older i don't know well, I she's can't two years tell. younger than her though wow in the irl yeah oh, oh wow Wow. wow. Uh, but she she goes wow. off to her friend to the tricentennial, and then she discovers a... Uh, uh, tricentennial. Mi- mi- <laughs> it is a tricentennial. I know, but uh, so I was Stupid. thinking about... The, <laughs> what, what's weird here, though, like, so... <laughs> They're they're celebrating a tricentennial. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. One of the events at this tricentennial yes. is a dude doing Paul Revere's Midnight Run in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And some guys like you hear some dude scream. He's like, "Yeah, three hundred years of freedom." And I was like, "What the fuck are you? What is anyone talking about?" So the bicentennial was nineteen seventy six. Yes, and then would uh, yeah, that be like a hundred years after that? Yeah, it would be. It would would it, it would be twenty twenty seventy six. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But if so this, this movie if this movie is coming out in two thousand six, so what the fuck it was going on in two thousand six? No, it's probably the founding of the town, you know, because the town's uh, existed before. Right. But what's the deal with fucking Paul Revere? I mean, I think the mayor fucked up. Is what you know? What? I don't here. know. They're just doing a lot of. I guess it's like kitsch factor. But I, this is one of my favorite parts of the movie because there's a Benjamin Franklin reenactment. Oh, it's this like, is awesome. The, the, the kite is now up. Let's hope for some lightning. And then the, <laughs> this, what was his name? Aaron? Kevin. 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 Kev, well, whatever. Kevin's just like, fuck you, Ben Franklin. <laughs> yeah, it's a good line. <laughs> fuck you, Ben Franklin. Because uh, she's like, She's like, all right, like it. It feels like this movie's coming yeah. to, to an end, so I better tell you what's going on in your picture. And it's your face, and like the flash is going off, so it looks like you're getting burned. Look, I, it's it's something that could be a dragon's it... penis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's ribbed. Uh, kind of looks like the Green Goblin, <laughs> or is it fireworks? Turns around at the fireworks factory. <laughs> oh shit! Oh. When they show this fireworks display getting set up, I have a feeling. Those are some real life carny fireworks technicians. You get a look at these dudes. Oh, yeah, Holy dude. shit, roadies for White Snake if you ever saw them. Pennsylvania's rotten with them. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. So but she she realizes that oh my god, my sister 
was on the roller coaster too. She kept it a secret. Oh, she sees the bracelet yeah. in the photograph for no secret. reason. She did. She didn't told anybody. Like, yeah, well, you would be talking about like, oh my god, we were both on that roller exactly. coaster. Well, it was a mystery. Like, she doesn't know it. Yes, it's it's it makes no sense. She drives. They never talk to each other yeah, either. Yeah, she well, only yeah. exists in like those mm-hmm. two moments. They have like a heart to heart right after the fucking thing. But that, but yeah, and you just confirmed you were both there. Yeah. What the hell? It's something that would obviously come up at the breakfast table. Oh, you know, I was also almost killed yesterday. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. hey. You're always trying to be so competitive with me. (laughs) Um, But uh, she gets in her car to to ride to the Tricentennial. And at this point, we find out that McKinley is following her. This is the most inept scene in the movie because they're trying to do this thing that they do in the first movie. And they do in this one as well, like the song is kind of calling out the thing. And, like, there's a song... I don't oh, because it was John Denver in the first movie, yes. right? Oh, yeah. right. Is there a song in the second film? Did they I keep that thread? Don't recall. Oh, Highway to Hell. Oh, is it really? Yeah. yeah it's Highway to Hell. Oh. It's but, like, it's like, uh, there's someone behind you. This song uh, fucking stinks. But, like, the move is you play that song and it's kind of creepy. But they're doing that. And, and in the same scene, in the same moment, they're doing the... Blah, blah, like yeah. the scream kind of like yes. score is laid over this song and they're alternating between the two. I've never seen it done this way and it's terrible. It's a bad DJ situation. It is. This dude's trying to flip back and <laughs> forth between the two discs. So it's they get, terrible. She gets the tricentennial. McKinley follows her. Tricentennial. And what the fuck? This dude? is the. Is that like a fucking bicycle for a baby? <laughs> Those are called tricycles. You think yeah. it is? Tenial. It's <laughs> like uh, it's for rich kids. It's a hundred bicycles for a hundred babies. <laughs> oh, dude, babies across America. Mm-hmm. We get them to pedal across America. I like it. I took the seat off my tricycle centennial. <laughs> they um. She gets there, and this is my favorite part, which is the horse bit. Oh my is, god! There it's are these it's a straight up horse attack. Let's call it what it is. And these kids, you want to talk about people who, who are going to go to jail? These kids go to jail. The firecracker kids? Yes. Because yeah, you fuck can't these do that kids. to a horse. You can't. You're, the horse is not responsible for its actions. Yeah. You put an M80 next to a horse in a crowded area, you are going to jail. Well, but also, why isn't the cast of fucking American movie that's running this goddamn place <laughs> not looking for yeah, these kinds of yeah. things? You would think that it's going to happen. It's well, going to happen. I'm not going to work in a fucking factory. I got this business I'm starting up, Mark. Maybe we can go into business together doing fireworks. <laughs> I got a bunch of them. They're kind of like lime green. It looks like a surge. Oh, and that horse started jumping around. I had an acid flashback, and I just lost control. Oh, oh, I started thinking that that horse looked like Uncle Larry. And then he was talking to me. He was telling me to kill Mark. No, I mean, I'm not working on the... I'm not working here at the Trish and Daniel. I got my movie. I, I got COVID to worry about. <laughs> no, I'm not going to help you do fucking security <laughs> at the Tricentennial. Pitching COVID the TV series <laughs> later this month. <laughs> to nobody. <laughs> to nobody. Uh, so this yeah, the, horse starts dragging her yeah, they, by they, the neck. They, they, they launch an M80 at this horse. This horse goes fucking ape shit, starts kicking people. Yeah. These kids suck, but I'll tell you, I just don't think it's a good idea to have horses when there's going to be a fucking fireworks display. That's a really good, not point. A good idea. I mean, M80 is terrible. also terrible, but, but Jesus. I mean, you, got to, you, you do the horses during the day and you clear them the fuck out of that field. <laughs> exactly. Unless you're going to be eating them soon, because honestly... <laughs> well, I mean, they should have the cuisine of the tricentennial. So, you know, does, so. D- does this rope get around the sister's neck? Yes, yes it, it does. It's dragging her. Sort of bridle or something gets around her neck and yeah. starts dragging her. Oh, her friend gets impaled first. The one that... No, like, no, no th- th- it, it's fucking multiple horse attacks. <laughs> Dude, fucking this is a horse insane. 11. I can't believe this. She gets dragged and then like semi-saved gets dragged again yeah he the horse turns around and just runs the other way (laughs) the guy kevin grabs a sword i think this is the sword yes that shouldn't be sharp right it's a sharp sword he cuts through uh the because it's like he pulls it out of like a fucking wash a reenactor george washington reenactor yeah i was gonna say general washington tried to correct myself but then it would have been right either way (laughs) hey mike you bringing sharp swords to the tricentennial buddy (laughs) is there such a thing as a not sharp sword mark (laughs) Let's roll. (laughs) I mean, 
sharp. But yeah, I mean, it's just so sharp. It's it, like it, one swing you yes, cut this thing. Cuts well, right. you know, this dude's probably some fucking militia weirdo. You're right. You're right. It's fucking heritage. <laughs> the people dude. that do these things. Come on. He cuts he cuts her loose. She's safe for a moment. The horse starts doing other shit. This is, I don't even know how the other they, girl like, gets impaled. They bring the horse back to like the stable <laughs> and like and fucking firework goes off again because we're in the <laughs> firework field. And then like it, I don't know what happens. It kicks f- something. It kicks something. This f- flag <laughs> oh, right. of like the town or some yes. shit flies through the air and impales this girl. Oh, it's fucking great. And again, by the way, these kids are covered in blood. Yes, yeah. yet again. Dude, it's like someone from like was working on Nickelodeon also <laughs> wrote this movie. You're almost out of Dr. Bronner's at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get a new one. And then uh, McKinley confronts the crew and he's like, and it, 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 he should have a gun or something. He's just kind of being creepy. He's just standing. It's so dumb. You're right. Like, there's no agency to this because it's like, all right, well, he's like also 50 feet away from you. And he's like four feet tall, so no one's worried. And he's like, I'm going to get you guys. Yeah, and I'm like, not going to die. I think the idea is if he kills them, it'll yeah. stop the cycle. Yeah, which might make sense, but do it, dude. But then a crane falls down on him and smushes him, presumably because of a horse related mishap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah the horse, horse pulled that lever and dropped the crane. This is also a good, like, this so is this- the best bicentennial I've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> Try Centennial. Uh the the splatter effect here, like part of this kid is like yeah. intact and like gets shot out of the way, and they definitely have him like twitching like a oh, fish. Yeah. Not too shabby special effects department. Oh no, I went to get a Coca-Cola <laughs> and then a boy got smashed. <laughs> but all that spray happened, I had a bit of an acid flashback. You know, that guy went out just as I want to hold an ice cold soda. <laughs> and though I thought that I asked them if they had surge and they said they sold out. <laughs> so I got a Coca-Cola. <laughs> Mike, man, when I say to keep the horse away from the crane, I mean keep the horse away from the crane. They're uh, out of mug root beer too. <laughs> I'm on the phone with the VHS company. I can't be looking at everything all the time. It's just that there's a couple of cranes that I didn't know which one you were talking about, Mark. I'm sorry. Did you mean me, Fraser Crane? <laughs> I was just here with my tossed salad and scrambled egg. <laughs> uh, and then it's oh, like, Kevin, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's. <laughs> Five fucking months later, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So stupid. We're Woo! on we're on a train going so, a subway of some sort, either in some Septa, city. Who the fuck knows? Exactly. And uh, it's just Wendy and two friends. By the way, this was reshot. I read this on the trivia. What? Yeah. And the first time they filmed this, fuck. the two people were people from the second movie. Oh, but shit. The, the ending tested poorly, and the other people weren't available for the reshoots. So like, it's just my roommate and my roommate's friend. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, connecting it to the other movie would have been something. It's sort of something. So they're just like, they're like, oh, it's Thanksgiving. We're all going home tomorrow. Let's go out for a nice night. Right. They're on the subway. Uh, it's going off. She, she starts seeing signs again, sort of. Yeah. And something. then her sister gets on the train. Yeah, she sees the sister. It's like, oh, what are you doing here? And then Kevin's there. And it's like, oh, what are you doing here? And she starts freaking out like she knows what's up. And I, then- love, I love Kevin's things. Like, well, I thought I'd uh, take go to the city for the big game. The <laughs> yeah. Sports game. There's- happening. There's upskirts everywhere there. <laughs> I can make a whole catalog if I got a good charge on this thing. Well, I had a, an interview with the Bang Bros people. Fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, they're, they're selecting a candidate for upskirts tomorrow. I might have a second interview. Uh, but in the meantime, I went to this sporting event by myself. <laughs> still, still waiting to hear back from Brazzers. <laughs> a little upstart to call Brazzers. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, she starts losing her shit. And then this is great. My favorite character of the film, Subway Rat. He is amazing. He's got like a ch- a little c- a candy bar or something. Yeah, he's like munching on some little ch- chocolate thing or something this like that. This uh, is Pizza Rat's father. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Uh, and so he winds up getting electrocuted. It changes the track. The thing goes haywire. It's Tony Todd is like, end of the line. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, And so there's this huge fucking subway disaster. You're seeing all these people getting cut up and killed. Kevin gets sucked out the window. Great one, and then his blood flies in. I'm like, yep, that's She gets splashed in the face again with blood. 
Uh, the sister dies. The um, sister gets hit in the head with a fucking train wheel. Oh, you're right. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty um, awful. So the whole thing crashes. The, as the dust settles, uh, Wendy gets up. She's looking around. The, you see the, the roommate yeah. and the friend are dead. Everybody's dead. Uh, and then she's like crawling. Her leg's broken. A subway comes. Yeah. And boom. And here's the thing. Yeah. That should be the fucking end of the movie. Yeah, yeah sure. It should hit her. Like, it's going to hit her. And it's like, oh, my God, this is how I'm going to die. But it kind of is the end of the movie yeah. if you read into this ending, right? Because it cuts back. It was all premonition. But then it immediately cuts to credits with the song Love Train. But you do, you do hear a crash. Yeah. I know, yeah, it so there's still no way, happens. There's no way for her to get out of this. But it's like, you just had this great, like, we yeah. saw the thing. Yeah. yeah. Don't bother cutting back. I agree with you. You know that. what I mean? And then, yeah, this, dude, we have talked about some heinous covers on this show before. It's wretched. It's bad. Tommy Lee singing Love Train. Holy tits, was this terrible. There, earlier in the movie, they show her one of the few characteristics Wendy has, which is like zero. Yeah, she's got a uh, a uh, a Joey Ramone uh, bobblehead, bobblehead, right? And I feel like they went to the Ramones, and the Ramones said no. Like, you know what I mean? I think the Ramones <laughs> were like, because like, why would you have that unless you're not going to use the Ramones at some point? Well, so, somewhere in the movie, yeah, no thanks. Final what? <laughs> Somebody says, "Hey ho, let's go." When they're when they oh, want right. the fucking uh, uh, roller, roller coaster, coaster to yeah. go at the beginning, oh, they right. start chanting, "Hey ho, let's go." I guess a senior thing. Yeah, that's the best. We'll give you those scumbag. <laughs> but at least Final Destination Two had the money to fucking. They, they got some incubus in there at Ooh, least. Oh shit, this is incubus Tommy money. Lee. Yeah, it's I solo. I was floored when the music credits it's, came. It's up. bad. It's I not thought it was, good. I it's thought like, it was orgy for a minute. Yeah, I was it really sounds worried. a bit orgy esque because it's like sort of slow and emotional. Get a love drain. Wow, that's rotten. And that's how you end that movie. That's the end of the movie is a fucking putrid cover of Love Train. Great. Mm -hmm. Hey, great. But uh, I just remembered something cool about, I believe, the fifth movie. It takes place before the first movie. Oh. Get out of town. Oh. So at the end of the movie, you see uh -huh. them like, the re they they like intercut with the original movie. So it's Fuck, like so it's a like shock. a period piece. Yeah, it Slash is. Slash Back it's, to the Future too. It's fucking shocking. Wow. Yeah, you got to go through it, dude. Go through the series. It's a good, it's oh, a good wow. series. I think it might be part of my October watching. Yeah. We're recording this in late September, yeah. so I'm getting ready what I'm going to put on the tube. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, I've got an Excel doc. Oh, fuck. Dude. Oh, really? I really fuck. do. Dude, I mean, you just, you got to sign up for Letterboxd. You're making Excel docs. It's 2019. You're like, what are you, like, giving yourself work or something? <laughs> I know. That's what you do all day. I've had an I've I've made an Excel doc every year for the last five years. It's really? Sad. Well, if it ain't broke. Yeah. <laughs> uh, would anybody recommend this movie? I would. It's it's a fun one. It's kind. It's weirdly like it's fun if you like Carnage. It doesn't. Ha <laughs> what if you like Venom? <laughs> if you like carnage there will be carnage and it will truly be a planet of final destination let me put on my stupid wendy's wig while i say this dude he looks like he should be making hamburgers with that fucking thing on. i love it uh, it's, it's kind of joyless in a lot of ways but also like the deaths are so much fun it's worth it it's it's worth it it's, it's a light recommend it's a recommend Oh, big recommend. I love this movie. This is my favorite of the wow, the final big L word. It's it's probably one of my if it's definitely the best of the series, I think. Uh-huh. Uh and it's definitely I would say probably like I I got a lot of joy out of it. I don't know about that. I mean, yeah. I think it's like very aware of how silly it is. Yeah. Uh, and and my god, this runtime. This move yes. it, it just moves like this thing does I not slow down. I smiled when I saw the fucking yeah, runtime. Got it's a lean. bunch of fucking smashes. Mm -hmm. What do you need more than smashes? So many smashes. And it's, sma it's a smash heavy franchise. Smashes, couple of squishes, and this. But this one's got a lot of them, and I, I, I appreciate. it. I think I agree with Chris here because this is like quick. You know, you get the you get the kills. You don't have to deal with the machinations of the father and mother of these children. <laughs> right, yeah. So, I mean, I think it is my favorite of the series. I would recommend it. Um, I think it's like first, third, and like fifth, if that's the one I'm remembering. I that's, don't know. I think those that, are the that's ones the one that I are, remember liking as well. Yeah, those are the ones that are kind of worth it. Two is whatever. Four, I mean, four is trash that I remember. I might have the order. Two one. and four are both trash. Anyway. <laughs> 
watch Final Destination. But there are smashes in both. Oh, yeah. I love a good smash. Yeah, I had fun with this. I think what Steve was sort of getting at with the joylessness of it, at least this is how I read that comment, was like, none of these characters are likable. There's yep. there's nothing you know about them. It no, doesn't no, no. matter. So, That's like, true. you're just sort of nihilistically watching, like, how's this one going to get? Yes. Like, and I know that's, like, slasher stuff across mm-hmm. the board, but, like, some of these movies have characters doing <laughs> things. Mm-hmm. This, because of its need to just be, like, a mousetrap thing every but, single time, you don't got time for that shit. You want it to be 92 minutes, and you got to take out all that characterization. But I do think they, like, subtly subvert a lot of stereotypes. Like, the fact that the two tanning girls aren't mean or yeah, anything. Yeah, I buy that. They're, like, That's nice, true. and they're, like, yeah, genuinely, like, they sure. feel, like, humans a little bit. And even the Kenley, like, kind of is a little bit more complex than at first glance. Sure. Yeah. I, I mean, but, but, like, I do get what you... It's very compact. There's not much character building. Yeah, that's right. also kind of the franchise. The first one's the only one that really cares about yeah. character. I wonder if that means that it's the longest one. We'll have to look that up. Ooh. I don't know. Uh, but that's a con- conversation for another We should time, ask the uh, spreadsheet guy. <laughs> yeah. He could crunch the numbers. <laughs> I, the I will. <laughs> Can you get me a PowerPoint, too? <laughs> I don't do PowerPoint. Excel only. God, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that on your resume? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, no, I do everything. I, <laughs> I know it all. <laughs> <laughs> that is Final Destination 3, directed by James Wong. If you want more We Hate Movies, check out patreon.com slash we hate movies, where right now you can get yourself a full length yes. WLM episode on Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. And we're actually dipping into WLM territory on animation damnation as well. We're Absolutely. doing The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror number five, but yep. it has The Shining on it. That's kind right. of the connection there. Sure. Uh, really great episode. We're just having fun. We, yeah. we, we, we loved our episode on the shining you should definitely check it out it's a long one long long it's one a long and yeah and what's more fun than go dipping into the the simpsons shining spoof there so, totally yeah uh so that's gonna do it for this episode but the cool thing is we're just getting started on the spooktacular here steve what's going on next week uh, okay uh so andrew you get in front i'll uh-huh. get in the middle right uh, eric you go behind me and okay. then chris you get in the back and we're going to form ourselves a human centipede. Oh, oh, man. I think this may wind up. Here's the thing. Yeah. We could get gross with it, but what's the point? Because the film we're talking about is already gross for us. We're going, going to get, get gross. gross yeah, 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 I kind of agree. Don't, don't be. Going to eat shit next yeah. week. <laughs> so until next week, where the episode comes with a barf bag, I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. Chris Gavin. Eric Siska. Take it easy. That was a HeadGum Podcast.